Hey, 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 I'm back again. Another night. Late night with me, with Charmaine. Let me go ahead and put it, this link in the group real quick. Just, hey, Sarah. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Nyla. Hey, Stacy. Let me go ahead. And, I'm looking at my computer, y'all. Got to put this in the group so everybody know I'm on live. What y'all doing tonight? Y'all working on anything tonight? What y'all working on? Let me know where y'all working at. Working on and where y'all at? Hey, 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 Denise. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Chanel. Hold on, let me get this. Um, let me put this on my um Facebook group real quick. Let me get this link. Let me share my link real quick to Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. If y'all know about Brown Girls Craft with Cricket, it's my group on Facebook. Everyone is, it's, um, anyone's, it's any, um, any, everyone is, is able to join. I just named it Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And if you have a cricket, you still can join. Just give me a second, y'all. Let me put this in the group. Then let's get this live to get on and popping. Because last last night we did a live and the freaks was coming out at night doing all kind of crazy stuff on the on the live. So I'm trying to find me a moderator. So if anybody can be a moderator, let me know. So I can be able to y'all can delete whoever coming on here acting crazy. I was on live last night. We ain't got live it's like mid after one o'clock, I think. Who was on here with me last night? We see the thumbs up if you was here last night or the hearts. Hey, I got 67 people. Oh, you was here for Yap. You was here for below. <laughs> Rose was here. Hey. Yep. Marissa was here. We was kicking it last night. We had some fun sipping on our wine. Yep. The shade was here. The shade was here. We had some fun last night. Let me see them hearts if we had fun last night. Somebody's cut, been cutting some, some fabric, some Mickey fabric. Let me see. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can post the links in this video real quick. I wonder if I can do that while I'm on live. Let's see. I'm trying new things. I'm trying to see if I can post all my links in, under the video so y'all can have it there if y'all need it. But it might not let me do it. No, it's taking too long. I'll just wait on that. Everything I do in this video will be below the link. All my links and everything will be below the um, video after I get done. Because I don't want to mess up nothing. But hey, 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 y'all. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Tonight, another night. I'm going to be here alone tonight. Because um, I'm going to be on here for about an hour. Because I just want to show y'all what I got from Amazon. I'm my little Amazon haul. And a surprise that I've been waiting on, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all know it arrived. Let me know what y'all think arrived today. Hey, Cindy. Hey, D from North Carolina. What y'all think arrived today in the mail? I know y'all gonna get it. Hey, Lish. Yes, you already know, Rebecca. <laughs> no, I wish my, I wish my, I wish my Martinita would have came, Wendy. You know, I've been looking, but I've been searching for my table. So I find, I've been looking for a table, so I've got one more place to go tomorrow to find my little state, my little table for my six needle. But no, it ain't here yet. And the shop is, um, the um, sewing shop is closed tomorrow. The place I'm getting it from is closed tomorrow. So I'm calling them on Thursday, like, where my, where my stuff at? Man, I'm so mad. It's, oh, it's eating me up. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to get it. Hey, Kim. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Tasha. Little Tasha. Hey, T Yes, my big boy. <laughs> I can't wait till it come. Anybody want to be a moderator? So I can go ahead and y'all can go ahead and delete somebody to come on here. I can crazy like they was last night. I know how to do it now. So I can add you as a moderator. Let me know. Just say um you would like to be a moderator to help me out. Like if somebody come on, you can delete them. Because I 
be all over the place. My machine is coming from, I guess they're coming from Brothers. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's the second. I mean, I get, I get it. I ordered it from this store in my city, in my town. But um, I guess they got to get it from Brothers. I'm getting the Brother machine. But I'm, ooh, I can't wait. Okay. Okay, she's, Miss Brown said she could be my moderator. So I'm about, to hook, I'm about to go ahead and let you moderate. So if you see anything going crazy, please delete them. So I just added you. Thank you. I just, I just learned how to do that yesterday. So I was just like, oh, I know how to do it now. Um, hey, uh, Sharita. Yeah, Sher Sharita from Georgia. Okay, let me get started. If y'all know about my groups, my groups, groups is called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. Follow me on Etsy, Charming Gal Boutique. Number two, all one word. Um, my face, my Instagram is Miss Charming Gal. And my TikTok is Miss is um Charming Gal. Who's first time on here today? Who's the first time on my channel? Is this your first time? Say it's my first time. Hey Janetta. Thumbs up, ladies. Let me see some let me see some likes on this video. I got 90 people watching. Hey, hey, hey. It's your first time with welcome, Rosie. Hope you subscribe to my channel. I have so much more to come. Hey, Dee's her first time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Janelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Hey, Ted. Oh, we got a lot of night first comers. Hey, uh, Nita. First time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Opa. Opa. Hey, oh, Mar hey, y'all. Thumbs up. We got a lot of visitors here today. I appreciate y'all coming on the watch. My name is Charmaine. I've been crafting since, will it be two years in July? Is it July? Yeah, July. I got my cricket and I just kept on going. So check out my, check out my, um, my, my videos on YouTube. I do everything. Sublimation in the air fryer, in the oven. I do cricket, sub, uh, silhouette. I do it all. Silhouette on the umbrella, vinyl umbrella. I do it all. Yes, I put heat, I put mugs and heat presses. I mean, the ovens and all kind of stuff. I do it all. Check me out. Today I am going to open up my it's an Amazon haul. So I'm going to show y'all some things I got from Amazon. Look at the shirt. I, I sublimated this. I do sublimation on everything. This is over. It's been I had this for like a year and it washed really good. Sublimation sweatshirt. I bought this from a um polyester sweatshirt. I bought this from a store that was closing. I got the and I had the black and white one on yes a black and gray one on yesterday when I had um so these, I love these. They're so comfortable. I got it from a store that was closed, and I got them all, okay? I got them all. What looks yummy? Make sure you like and share. <laughs> so they're coming out already. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, here we go. Um, Yes, please get them. Get them. <laughs> she got, oh, my God. People is crazy. They find something to do. Okay. So let me go ahead and, um, yeah, they deleted it. Thank you, Chanel. I see you. You got them. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's my, let me see. So let me see what I got. I got this package right here. And it came from, oh, it's another verse. This is another diversity jacket, y'all. I didn't know. I just got it. It must be my, so I got a lot of jackets I got from Amazon for my son. But like I said, I'm in, I'm, pro, I'm in the process of looking for more vendors for my verse jacket so I can put, um, so I can put, Patches on there. Y'all know about I do a lot of patches and stuff like that. Oh my god! So I got this to my son too. So I got him three jackets. So I'm gonna start putting patches on here. I do patch embroidery patches. So if y'all know about the embroidery patches, check out my site. Um, Charming Gal Boutique number two. Just ignore. Just ignore. This is crazy. Next time, my next, next, we're going to have to probably do, I would like to come back, come out, do late videos because I'd be crafting late, but people be ignorant. People be ignorant. So, we'll see how this one goes. I might just have to do them earlier than this time. So, what y'all got going on today? Y'all crafting? What y'all working on today? What y'all working on today? Let me see. Ignore the, ignore the freaks that come out at night. Just ignore them. Ignore them. What is this? Oh, 
Hold on, let me see what this is. This says from Glitter Sparkle Studio. Somebody sent me some stuff from Glitter Sparkle uh, Studio. They both want me to do a um a review on their product because I don't remember buying anything from them. Let's check and see what this is, y'all. I'll open it. Oh. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, let me see. Maybe if I read the thing. Three inch pinch. Oh, bow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I ordered this dye thing from um Glitter Sparkle Studio. And it basically, it's like a dye. I can put it in my dye cutter. And it can show, I mean, for, so for the bows. Instead of cutting the bows, I make hair bows, right? So look at this. It might not be a secret, it's black. But look at this. These are hair, board, hair bow templates. Templates. You can put it in your your die cut machine, and you can make um it cut it for you without cutting it. Wow! And I will show you how to do this tonight. But my uh, handle came off my die cutting machine. I got a scissors, but the handle came off. So I got to find a screw for it. But this is sweet, y'all. I forgot I ordered this. So basically, you see how you put the you can put the um faux leather in here and and then roll it a whole sheet. And you see that it'll cut this and this one and this. Can y'all see that? All these pieces. Okay, and it'll cut it for you, but that'd be crazy because then you got to figure out how to put the faux leather each if you want different faux leather on it's gonna be I thought it came separately, but it come all in one sheet. So you basically put it in your machine and you crank it up and you roll it and then basically it'll cut it out for you. Ain't that cool? Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my let me show y'all my die cutter. Let me show y'all what, what I'm talking about. This is it right here. It's called a um. What's the name? It's called a big shot. I'm sorry. It's called a big shot. And it goes right in here. You basically see my handle broke. My daughter was over here playing rock. We was doing some stuff. And she broke look, she broke it. So I gotta get a screw or something. And it's, it's right here. I just gotta get a screwdriver and screw it on there. And we gotta basically turn it. And it's go through here like this. But you gotta sandwich it, all kind of stuff. I got it. I got a video on that. Let me just show y'all how it works. So basically, I, this is the faux leather right here, right? I got all kind of faux leather. And I think I got some in my Amazon link, y'all. I can't wait to open it. I know I do. Oh, I can't wait to open it, y'all, so I can show y'all. But um, you put it in here like this, and then you basically cut it so it can fit, and then you just roll it through the machine, and then you cut it out in these shapes, y'all. Ain't that neat? You don't got to worry about using scissors, okay? No more scissors. So I came with that one, and it came with this. Can't see that. But then cut them out. So those are how the the bows, and I'm gonna show you. I can show me y'all my bows real quick. It's the same pattern that I've been using for the ones I already made. Let me show y'all real quick. I know I didn't show y'all these yesterday, but I just want to show y'all so y'all can get a feel of how it's gonna look after you get them, after you cut them out. So it looks like something like this. These are the shapes that's on here too. Cause I love this way these shapes are, the way these um this template is. So the like after I cut them all out and I put glue them together, it look like this. So I've been doing these for my boutique that I'm about to open up for my, my um my grand in honor of my granddaughter. And I've been making shirts, applique shirts with the embroidery machine to match these um bows. Y'all know what applique is? Applique is when you basically sew in fabric on the item. Like I can sew in this faux leather inside of a inside the shirt. And um check out my lives before this one. Like yesterday, you would see all my applique I did. I want to show y'all that again because I already have one on my um the channel. I just did last night. I know people that was here last night don't want to see that over again. I know y'all don't, so I ain't gonna show y'all again. So if y'all want to see that, y'all, this is oh I love this right here. I got I'm put this on a shirt, this um pattern on the shirt, and a little girl bow on there. That'd be so cute. So this is what that is gonna do. Instead of using the scissors to cut them out, I use my big shot. Okay. So I want to show y'all that I forgot this was coming, y'all. So this came from um if y'all want to get some die cutters, this came from Glitter Sparkle Studio, and I believe that's on she was on Etsy. So I got my little die cutter. So I got to get my thing fixed so I can go ahead and use this without cutting. It's going to be so much better. But you can use your Cricut also, but I'd I rather just use this because it's easier. I mean, Cricut is cool, but you got to get out your mat. You got to do all that stuff. But it's, I mean, it's easier than cutting. But it's not that hard. Like, let me show you my templates that I already made. These are the templates that I made. So that's how I did these bowls. And I got them from Etsy. So this is one part of the template. Second part of the template. Just cut it. I'm going to put it on cardboard so it can be thicker, but I just got it on paper right now. The third part of the template 
then this is the piece that you wrap around the bow. Okay? So that's what I'm doing now using this paper. But now I can use my little cutter. It's the same shapes, the same templates. It's on that um little cutter I just showed you. I mean, a little thing I just showed y'all. Okay. Let's get on to next to the next thing that I got from Amazon. I got so I got a big box here, y'all. And I already know what's in there too. So shout out to Glitter Sparkle Studio. Sending out my stuff. Of course I paid for it, so it's not like a I, I paid for it. It's not nothing they gave to me. Okay. Y'all wanna see what's in this box? I'm gonna say the best. I'm gonna say the best for last, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Let me see. Let me see what y'all saying real quick. I uh, have that machine. I haven't used it yet. Watching folks craft. Been sick of all. Oh, hope you feel better, Miss Um Debris. I have a Gemini. Okay, I seen her about the Gemini. Worked on a few. Work work on figuring out the Cricut mug press. Oh, I got something for you then. I got that mug press. I got something for y'all. Oh, there's a hole in my box. Hope ain't nothing in here. There's a hole right here. Hope ain't no critters in here. <laughs> I don't like it when I get holes in my boxes because you don't know how long it's been in the warehouse. I do not like that. Hope ain't nothing in here is going to come out and bite me. Ugh. It's the big box. I'm about to show y'all what's in here, okay? I'm going to set it on the floor. Ugh. And open it up. Hey. Let me see what y'all saying. Hey, Diane. If it's your first time coming, to say this is your first time here. And welcome. And go ahead and thumbs up this video, please. I got 168 people on here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and give me thumbs up on this video. Oh, my God. Look at all these goodies in this box, y'all. Let me scoot it over here some. Ugh. I got a lot of goodies in here. Let's see what we got. Let me get comfortable. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! More applique! Do y'all know what applique is? I got to say it. It's used for your embroidery machine. Or you can make it, you can use, I mean, not applique. I mean, yeah. This is faux leather. I'm sorry. This is faux leather for my applique. You can use it for bowls or a lot of stuff. Key chains, key fobs, a lot of stuff, y'all. But I use it for my embroidery shirts. Do my applique and I use it for my bows. The match it up with my girl bows. For my daughter, I mean my granddaughter boutique that I'm about to open. A children boutique. It's gonna be called a ray of sunshine. And I got a disclaimer for y'all that's new. I talk fast, so that's what I did. But this is I can't. Oh my god, I just love the way it folded out they be looking. Be looking. I love the way it looks. This is like a mermaid. This is too. And I just cut it and I put it on my bows and my shirts and stuff. I'm probably going to show y'all a couple of shirts that I made. Because I love them. For y'all new, y'all newbies. I love it. Because mermaids and, um, mermaids is, is in style right now. Mermaids and what else, y'all? The mermaids and the, the unicorns, okay? Look at that. Faux leather is so cute. You can do so much stuff with it. And I also could make purses, um, with faux leather in my embroidery machine. Did y'all know y'all can make purses a full with purses? I mean, you know, like um um I made some um fanny packs, wallets, and an em embroidery machine. Who has an embroidery machine? Let me see you um thumbs up on on your comments. Thumbs up if you have an embroidery machine. Isn't that cute, y'all? Thank you, D. Who has an embroidery machine? Okay, everybody working with it. Okay, cool. I got my, everybody, if you ain't been following me, I got mice coming in. I'm a six needle coming in. But I got three babies over here. My babies. I got the, um, Innovis 1600 right here. I got the, um, P800 right there. And I got a small one over there. Just the embroidery slash, um, can you see it? The embroidery slash sewing machine over there. And I'm waiting on my big one. Well, I got to get another table for it. I'm waiting for that to come soon. It should have been here. I've been waiting a whole month. Ugh. That's my angry face. Ugh. Okay, I got some more um, back ready to ship bags, clear self sealed bags for my my shirts that I'm gonna be making for my um children boutique. I got a small. I got some bigger ones for the adult shirts. So I'm about to do smaller ones for the um children boutique. All of Amazon. 
I'll put the links below of everything so you'll know that um what I got this stuff from. Stop it. You see somebody might gonna get the um you gotta get the slow flourish. I know everybody gonna say I'm gonna get it, but I don't think I I, I was always gonna tell everybody I'm not gonna get it today, okay? <laughs> you know what? I might not get it today. I'm always saying I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna roll for that thing. I got so much stuff in my basement, then I'm putting stuff in my extra bedroom upstairs now. So I'm over I'm, I'm over full of stuff. Look at this, y'all. This is faux leather. This is so pretty. Okay, she said she she got her a single needle. She's gonna get a 10 needle. If I got three single needles, I'm about to give me a six needle. I just couldn't get that 10 needle right now. I'm just I spend too much money on crafting, but I'll be okay. And I'm still gonna use my other three, so I'll be good. Look at this, y'all. Amazon. Isn't that pretty? I love, I love it. Make some real cute bowls and I'm gonna use some of my kids' shirts. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna show y'all some of the shirts. I'm sorry, y'all. And people that seen it last night, I'm sorry. I'm gonna show a couple of them because they just felt so cute like that. Oh, my favorite color is purple. Isn't this cute? It's all faux leather. So I got a whole pack of these, y'all. A whole pack of different colors. They got blue in here. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. They got a pretty green. Yes. Not iron on. It's faux leather. We don't iron this on. You just basically stitch it in on your, um, on my embroidery machine. Uh, you can make purses with this. You can make, um, you can just put it inside. I'm going to show y'all what I do with it, okay? Just for y'all newbies that wasn't here last night. I done did, man, I've been doing lives every night. I don't like doing lives, so I got to worry about editing. So you get what you get. Whatever I throw at you, you get it, because I don't have to edit these videos. So, And I hate editing, because it takes so long to do. But I, you know, look at this. Cute. All from Amazon. So let me go ahead and show y'all what else I got from Amazon. I got a whole big old box, y'all. And I don't plan on being here that long, because I need to, um, I got a cup to do. And, um, my printer. I got a tumbler to do that I was supposed to do last night, but I was on a thing kick kicking with y'all all night. I couldn't do it. So I got to do that tumbler tonight. I got to, because I got to ship it off to my customer. She been waiting on it. I mean, it's, I'm shipping out early, so it's cool. But I like to do my stuff early. Ship it out before the due date. So check out my Etsy page. Charming Gap Boutique 2. And see, how some, I create whatever you, I personalize whatever you want. Okay? That's what I do. From mugs to rugs to t-shirts, to umbrellas, to journals. I make journals, calendars. I make it all. Jewelry, bangles. I got some poly mellers. It's like the same size I had before. These are huge. I didn't know, I, I meant to get the smaller ones. I think I got these, are, oh no, I got this. Okay, I got these, because I got the smaller ones. I got the three sizes. This is a large, I got a medium, and I got the small for my bangles and stuff. So my color scheme is purple. That's why I got purple, my favorite color. And the plus is my per my color scheme for my Charming Gale Boutique. But then my daughter, my granddaughter, um, boutique I'm about to open that next month, her birthstone was purple. So, hey, purple purple wins, purple wins. Can you add heat bond to the back of it? You don't have to. Oh, let me see, fold leather, fold leather, fold leather. I usually just add um, heat and bond to the um back of, like, fabric but i don't you, have to, you don't have to use heat bond to, in the back of the um faux leather but some people might do it some might, people might put faux leather i mean heat bond on the back but i just use heat bond for uh fabric and i also have the um no show mesh stabilizer and i already i just looked at my back i already had some of this y'all i'll be buying stuff and i already in a hat i already got it i just organized some stuff tonight before i got on live and i said i just looked and see oh i already had this so this is a no show Oh, uh, stabilizer. You can use this on put on the back of shirts and stuff. Now, I thought I had some more sheets, y'all. I thought I had bought some more sheets. But I guess that's all it was. Let me see. I thought I, I thought I bought some more. Maybe I guess it's not, it didn't come yet. Oh, you know what? I got a package upstairs. I left it in my car. And I bet you that's what it is. I had, some, I had like a little package in my mailbox. I left it in, in my car upstairs. Man, I forgot to bring that down here. So here, I got these two packages of faux leather from Amazon. Really nice. This is all glitter, and these are all like the mermaid. Okay? So that's my haul from Amazon. 
Let me show y'all real quick a few shirts that I made with the faux leather. Real quick. Cause they just so cute like that. Damn, I'm so mad I forgot that in my car. Or was that it? Was that the one in my car? Girl, no. So I'm making this stuff. This is my daughter, my granddaughter name. Her name was Araya. May she rest in peace. I'm just opening up a boutique for her in her in her honor of her name. Her birthday was February 20th. The February 28th. She'll be one years old in February. Isn't this cute, y'all? So I got a bow that matched this, okay? These mermaids are so in style. This, this is applique. This is how you sew. This is all from embroidery machine. This is all this is all thread. And this is this is the applique. This is the faux leather. I love it. It's so cute. This is for um fabric right here. This is like minky. And I sell this. To, I mean, it's basically an embroidery machine. It's called an applique. Who does applique? Let me see your thumbs up. Who ain't new to that? Who ain't new to this? This is fabric. Sorry for y'all that seen this last night. But it's they so cute. Y'all might see it again, do y'all? This is blue jean, okay? Blue jean of fabric. And this is minky. Okay, cool. So y'all y'all already know. Y'all already hip to it. Ain't she cute? This is like the glitter faux leather. Fabric. This is fabric right here. And this is just I samples I make on my embroidery machine. So I don't have to wait. I don't have to mess up a shirt, a t-shirt. Put on some fabric and fold it, y'all. Fold this is stretchy knit fabric. Do it and get because anybody might not Elijah might not want to buy this. I'm just making these names up to put it on my website, take pictures of it, fold it like a t-shirt, and that's how you get your sales. So you gotta work mess up a whole t-shirt. This is my granddaughter name, Araya. She would have been one years old. This is uh, glitter. This might be, yeah, this is uh, faux leather also. But you can also use heat transfer for this. You can, eat, you can use HTV or fabric. I love to applicate too. I love it. Well, I have some videos, Latasha. She said she want to learn. I got some videos. So check out my, my YouTube channel, my YouTube page. I got videos to show you. I just did a, I did a live on applique. Did we do that applique last night? Yeah, we did. It was like a little applique. We had like, um, I did the vice president. Um, and check out my TikTok. Y'all got so many different videos on TikTok on different things that I do. And a lot of applique on there. I did her own TikTok. So check out TikTok. I did do an applique the other day. So check out my live. You'll see it. This is, this is all thread, y'all. Push a button and keep on going. This is all embroidery thread. How I, how I take pictures of this, I basically get a ring light. I can put stand in front of the ring light, get a nice background, and um, take pictures of them real nice. And make sure you got a, a nice lighting and stuff like that. And have a nice background to pr and prop it up real nice. And I also got me a, um, a children a child size mannequin to use. I'm going to try to get some tutus and stuff. So that's applique, y'all. Those are appliques that I've done. I'm doing some work tonight because I up all night, y'all. Took my little nap. I'm going to be up all night. But not on the live, though. Is that? Oh, I gotta show y'all one more thing, y'all. One more thing, y'all been waiting on. Hold on, let me, let me clean up my mess up a little bit. Okay, let me show y'all my bags real quick. These are the bags I'm talking about. I did all this. I didn't do this on a sewing machine. I did this on a embroidery machine. All in the hoop. It's called in the hoop projects. I didn't use a sewing machine. I used the embroidery machine. You push a button and you do, it's basically an applique. Applique project. You put fabric in there. You sew it. Put more fabric on it. You sew that. It's, they all lined. They all lined. Who has done a, um, a fanny pack or a purse or anything on, on your embroidery machine? Let me see thumbs up. Thumbs up if you um did these in the comment. This one I had to fix. I messed this one up, but it's another fanny pack. Hey. I have 198, not 78 people. I got 188 people in here. Can y'all give me thumbs up on the top? Like this video, please. Please like this video if y'all see what y'all if y'all like what y'all see. I appreciate y'all. Okay, I try. I did. I was gonna do some mask in the hoop, but I never did. See how it's lined in here? It's thick fabric. Thank you for following me, Nicole B. She just followed me on TikTok. Who else wanna follow me on TikTok? 
My TikTok is, um, I'm going to put it down right here. Charming Gal. Put it down here for y'all. Charming Gal on TikTok. Then also you can follow me on Etsy. Put my Etsy down here. Follow me on Etsy. Just go ahead and just like my Etsy page. I appreciate you. Check out my stuff that I have going on in there. And look, I made this purse. And my, my son said it like panties. <laughs> I'm like, no, they don't. I'm like, oh, yes, they do. But this would be cute if I could put something else down here, like some leopard down here or something, a different kind of fabric. <laughs> That'd be cute. But yeah, thank you for following me, Fun Size 86 on TikTok. Thank you. I see you. I see you. I'll shout you out. Okay, thanks for following me, Nicole B. The wise. On my, what'd you say on my G? Oh, on my G. OMG what? I didn't do a video on the bowls yet, but I can, I can do one soon. Cause this, they're so easy and so fun and so addictive. I just started doing them, but I do got a TikTok video on the bowls. Make sure you move my Instagram in here too. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's Miss Charming Gal, Instagram. Okay, let me see what you got on here. Hold on, I thought it looked this. <laughs> okay, my son said the same. I was like, dang. My, my son said, mine's like panties. I'm like, no, it don't. I'm like, oh, maybe it do. I'm sorry, but I just like this. I like this, um pattern so i went on here i mean it's fabric so i made one but i didn't know until after i did it he looked like they like panties I'm like really uh off topic question what order this epoxy be? i don't use i don't use epoxy because my son is allergic to it he'll get sick because he got eczema and all kind of stuff going on in his life so um he's allergic to everything so i had to stop using epoxy i used it one time i did do a video on how um did i used it how to use it so check out my video but i use crystal like now crystal like is much safer safe for Thank you. I just somebody just else somebody, somebody just followed me, but I couldn't see what your name was. So thanks for following me on TikTok. Whoever that was, I couldn't see it. We went up too quick. Okay, this is what we did last night on my live. So if y'all want to check the live out last night, we did her vice president. And this is applique right here. This is fabric right here. Okay. So this is all this is all thread and this is fabric. Okay, so that's applique right there too. Let me, try, let me show y'all some of my patches because I'm in love with doing patches. I had these for sale on my site too. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. I'm doing a Kobe tonight. I got to do him tonight. I got somebody want three of these. So I got to do this tonight. And I don't sell these. These are my samples that I tried. I just look at them. I like looking at them. So I'm, I'm not selling these. I just keep these and I just um make them over. So I can know. So I can look at them. I'm doing them so I can know what I use. Yeah. No step blocks on the back of that. I use tear away, but if it's a real dense de design, I use a cutaway. I use cutaway on here. You can't even tell, but you also got to put on put on the backing on there so you can so they, they can they can um heat it to their garment. This is the backing. I put the backing on there and they got to take it off and it it'll, it'll stick to their um garment. It's, you can iron it on and it stick. Okay. A few patches I made. Yes, that blue and white. Yes, I know my cousin is um a Zeta, so I make a lot of stuff blue, blue and white, the red and white, pink and green. I know, I know it. I be working on those different things. Check out my website. This is the applique. Stillers in the house. I got a lot of people from Stillers. Oh, I think I showed y'all the red and white one, huh? So this is the blue and white one. The first one I think was the red and white one. Oh yeah. So yeah, if I do these for the sororities. Sororities. Um, this is applique. This is applique with fabric and sewing. Hey, the lady works. Hey, Josephine. Yep, yeah, stillers. A lot of people out here won't like the stillers, so I had to make a lot of stuff for them. 
Yes, I do hoodies on a single needle. I did sweatshirts on a single needle. I did jean jackets on a single needle. She is so cute. I love her. <laughs> she is so pretty. After I did her, I didn't get my hair done like this. I was like, she done motivated me to get my hair done with dreads. Well, these, you know, this is, that's so cute. So I did her, like, let me go get my hair done. It's so cute. And she the bomb too with her afro. So this is, I just want to show y'all a few of them because I know everybody tired of looking at them because I done show these in all of my life. I'm just so proud of them. They're so cute. I just be sitting here, just push the button, let it go while I work on something else. You don't have to sew. You do not have to sew. She said, what if I can't sew? I don't know, I don't know how to sew. Well, I just learned how to, I just did. I, the only thing I did on the sewing machine was um make some, um. I'm going to have everybody get an embroidery machine, ain't I? <laughs> I made some when, the, when that pandemic hit. I bought me that um brother's sewing machine because I want to make up my, my government to make my granddaughter all her clothes. And I wanted to um make masks and stuff. So I learned how to sew by making the mask for the pandemic. Okay. And then I made a pillowcase, a few pillowcases for me and my son and my daughter. Then I, yesterday, a couple days ago, I made my first blanket, y'all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did a good job. So I'm proud of myself. So don't only things I know how to sew. The only things I knew how to sew. I never used a sewing machine in my life until recently. And now I know that. But I don't know how to, you don't have to know how to sew. You just push a button. <laughs> <laughs> and just keep an eye on it and follow the instructions of the um of what you got to do okay i mean you will see how to, let's check out my videos and you'll see how they work just check out my embroidery videos i have a playlist for embroidery so go on my youtube channel go to my playlist and again click on charmaine embroidery and you see everything i do in embroidery it's so easy and it's so much fun you can get so creative with doing different things i love it and it's really in. Everybody's trying to find out. Everybody's trying to do um embroidery. Um, I mean, want to do embroidery. And want to put the embroidery on everything. Because embroidery lasts longer than vinyl. It don't, I mean, you know, this is sublimation. So, but the thread, it, it's a bomb. I mean, it's so cute. Did I show y'all this one? This is uh, applique also. So. Yeah, my granddaughter. My granddaughter passed away. My daughter had a stillborn. And um, and I basically, before before she passed away, I was gonna make her all her clothes, but then she didn't make it. So um, and I said I was gonna never I was never gonna make kids clothes for everybody else. I was just gonna make kids clothes for her. And I bought all this stuff, all these machines so I could make all her clothes, and she didn't make it. So now my goal is to um keep her name alive. Araya, her name is Araya, Nicole Ray. Keep her name alive. She's an angel in heaven. I can't make clothes for her, but I'm gonna make the clothes for um all the angels here on earth. So um, her the, my boutique is gonna be called a uh, Ray of Sunshine, and um, Ray R A E stands remembering Araya every day, which is also her middle name. Her middle name was Araya Nicole Ray. Uh, I'm gonna say Araya. Araya Nicole Ray. So that's what my goal is. I'm so excited about getting this store open. I know people always be. And listening to me saying this stuff, so I'm so excited about you. Don't never, you don't understand. I got my own boutique called Charming Girl Boutique, and it's been flirting, it's been really doing good on Etsy. But it's, I'm so excited about getting this this children, this her boutique out for my aunt to honor my granddaughter. I'm so happy, and I can, I can do that for her, just do that to remember her name by. Um, to remember her name, my daughter helping me out too. My daughter, she's she does wooden signs, she was never crafty, but after this happened to her daughter, she tried to find something different to do to keep her mind focused. On, on 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 life because it was a, it was very hard devastating but now she does wood signs and stuff and she's really creative on doing wood signs and now she learned how to burn the wood so she's really happy about that so she's gonna have that in my store in the store too so she's gonna do wood for nurseries and stuff like that so we excited on this new journey to remember her to remember our um our baby our baby angel um very excited i can't wait but i know it's and i'm um, doing tutus and i do um, i'm gonna do blankets i'm gonna do um t-shirts i'm gonna do um onesies i'm gonna do pillowcases pretty pretty in, in sublimation pillowcases with little angels on there little baby angels and then you can put the kid's name on it and i'm also gonna do memorial stuff like if you did lose a, a child i can have stuff that you can give to the, i mean buy to to, to to give to someone that lost a child and stuff like that so i'm gonna have a lot of different things on there i do like um you can put photos and stuff on those um of those um sublimation stuff the stones and stuff i, I do all that keychains all that kind of stuff. I do memorial stuff that I'm going to have on that site. So it's going to be all about my baby. Okay. Let's see what y'all have to say. What y'all got going on? Let's see what I'm going to work with. Yes. A brilliance. Um, only work. I mean, I have a MacBook. So I use a brilliance. 
Hey, Melissa. She said she never see lives, but she got she's able to see them. Girl, I've been doing lives for the last couple days. Like I said, I like doing lives, so I ain't got to worry about editing the video. So whatever I get, y'all see whatever I do. All, all the mistakes, all the everything I do wrong, it's all on here. You got one in your cart? I um no, all these files y'all saw, I mostly get most of them from um Etsy. Mostly all from Etsy. And if you don't, you can use a PNG. I mean, they all my files had to be a PS PES for um Brother Machine, but you can get them um um digitized on Fiverr. Fiverr.com. You can send your PEGs or SVGs to Fiverr.com and they can sub I mean they can digitize them for you to make you the this this file you need. It's called a PES for Brother Machines. But your machine, if you got a different machine, it might be a different file. Which one do I recommend? The embroidery machine. I think you should start off with the um, PE800. It's a beast. I love it. The biggest size is the 5x7. Um, so if you want to go bigger, bigger hoop, you might want to go to with the Innovis, which is a NQ1600. And the biggest hoop is a 6x10. But the PE800 does have a bigger, it's called the repositional hoop, but you got to reposition it to do the hoop to make it work. But it's, it's, it could be it could be done, but it's a little bit more steps you got to take to get the bigger hoop for the PE800. But if you want to spend all that money, you want to make sure you like it first, check out the PE800. They were only $800, $600 when I got mine, because but now with the pandemic, everything is sky high now because everybody opening their own business, doing a lot of stuff, so they sky high. Everything is high, high, high. High, high, high. So, um... Yeah, so check it out. They have them on Amazon. I got both of mine from Walmart, okay? I got my PE800, and I got my other, my small one over there from Amazon, y'all. I never knew Amazon had sewing machines, okay? Let me see. Um, Thank you, Frederick. Thank you, Baby Sharks. I'm for She said I look so young. I'm... 40, I'll be 42 in June. Um. Yeah, but I have a 21-year-old daughter. She'll be 22 in April. I got a 10-year-old son. He'll be 11 in May. No. My daughter should be 23. Jesus Christ. So I'll be, I'll be, how old am I? Am I 43? See, I'm getting old. I don't know how old I am. My daughter, she'll be 20, 22? Yeah, I'm 43. Hey, hey, hey. I'll be 43 in um, June. <laughs> it's a darn shame. Um, I <laughs> for real. I be forgetting how old I am for real. I got to remember how old my daughter is before I know how old I am. Um, I had her when I was, um, I had her when I was 20. So I know we 20 years apart. Okay, um, so... Y'all ready for the uh, the big reveal? What I been what y'all been waiting for? Now tomorrow I'm gonna do another live to work on this thing I got right here. The largest patch I got is a, a, a nine by nine by seven. Let me show you the hoops real quick. Okay, these are the hoops for the machines. For the um, for the PE eight hundred, you get a five by. Oh, I've got the wrong hoop, but anyway, you know, the five by seven, and then the four by four. Okay, these are two hoops you get with the uh, with the PE eight hundred. But this is not the right hoop. This this right here is not the right hoop. This is for my other machine, but I'm letting you know the size. Okay, it's the same size. Okay, but this this is right here. It slides in. The, the PE, I mean, the uh, Novus NQ1600, which is the most expensive one, which one, it comes with this hoop. You can slide them in. You can slide, and it's so good. I love the way you, they slide inside the um the bracket, but the PE800, you gotta snap them. So let me show y'all real quick what I'm saying, but after I'll show y'all the size, okay? These all three come with the big machine, okay? And they all slide in. I love the way they slide in. And then also this machine cuts the, um, cuts the thread, the, the jump stitches. You know about cutting your jump stitches on your thread. Um, so these all come with this one, the big machine, which was like $1,200. And I said, the biggest hoop is this hoop right here. It's a six by 10. And this is the biggest patch you can make. Here's on how the patch is made. You can make it about this big. I made a big shoe. I, I think I showed you how that big old shoe I made. It was huge. It came in this size. 
Let me show you. A six by ten. And that's the same size they want me to do that on um, Kobe. Let me show you how to shoot real quick. That's, it's huge. I just want to see how big it can get. What do I do with it? Okay. But you see it's not going to be the exact size of the um, hoop. It's going to be a little bit off. Okay. So you get a couple inches off. Let's see. So it ain't going to be as big as the hoop is. I think I probably shrunk it a little bit too. I'm not sure if I did or not. Okay. So these are the three hoops that come with the big big boy. Okay. But then you get with the um the P800, you get this one. Not this one, but it's over there, but it's the same, but it just don't have the sliding thing. Let me show you how it looks. Okay, now the ones you get with the P800 is this one. And see how these hooks are right here? You got to snap it in. Snap it. You can't slide it. You got to snap it in. And then this one right here, police, they dirty because I spray. I'm not a dirty person. It's just spray on here. Spray sticky um, stuff and then make it look like it's, well, it's, it's dirty. So these are the two you get with this one. That's your machine. You probably get a smaller one too, a, like a little circle one. They come with this one too. So this is the biggest hoop you get. But then you can also get the repositional hoop, which is like $40 on Amazon. Okay, but you have to basically do the top first, take it out, and do the bottom of your of your um your project or your image or whatever you're doing. So these are two different sides. This is the one for the big. This one comes with the other machine. This one you can buy separately for your P800. Okay, this one is six by ten, five by twelve. This can be used, but it's extra steps. Okay, extra steps. Any questions? I know that's a lot, and I talk fast. Thank you, Shirley. Hey, Nicole. I'm glad you caught me. Yeah, mine's was too. Oh, yours is, mine's, I think it was 600. Mine was 600. It was cheap because it was right before the pandemic started. It was right before they was sky high. So mine was probably 600. I be forgetting. I know it was six or 800 because I know it was, it's called 800. I just assumed it was 800, but it was 600. It was 600, but now it was like a thousand. You got your oh, you, 13. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Sonya. Yeah. That's crazy. She had to pay 1300, over 1300 for hers. Ooh. Yeah, I only paid 600 for mine. For, for my, for my, um, because like I said, they was, they were cheap until the pandemic because everybody was making masks and everybody was doing all this sewing stuff. Like I said, I learned how to sew from the pandemic. I said, I'm going to learn how to make these masks. I'm going to make stuff for my, my granddaughter because I knew my daughter was having a girl. So I was about to start. I was going to make all her clothes. I was going to learn, but still, I still haven't made no clothes yet because I'm scared. I made my blanket, though, yesterday. I made my blanket. Thank you, uh, 411. Yes, yes, get it. Oh, no. Come on now. She said she heard her machine been in that box. Take that out. There's so much that you could do with that. Like I said, I made sweatshirts with a one needle machine. I embroidered on hoodies. I got that on, on my Facebook channel. So, I mean, on my YouTube channel. Check out my YouTube channel. I did uh, jean jackets. I did hats. Oh, yes, all on the one needle machine. You don't got to have a big one, but I need a big one because I've got a business I'm running. But if you're doing it by, you know, personally. But I know people that's running business with the, with the single needle. Dog, yeah, she, Bridget said she got hers off for, for $1,300 too on Amazon. They going crazy with some prices. Okay, let me open my last thing, y'all, because I got my oven on. I'm about to put, I'm about to sublimate a, um, a cup tonight. I got to sublimate my cup for my customer. I got to get that done tonight because I was on my live with y'all all night last night. I got 178 people watching. Hello, welcome. If this is your first time. Please subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of stuff going on. I appreciate y'all for coming in and tuning in with me. I got I, when I get to 100,000 subscribers, I will be doing a live. I mean, a giveaway, and also showing you how I do these do my bags that I have. I'm gonna show you how the bags real quick. Hold on, let me go get it. Isn't this beautiful? It's a duffel bag, traveling bag, whatever you want to call them. Huge. I'm going to show you all how to do these. Put this in your business or make it for your family. When I get to 100,000 subscribers, 
I'm really close, y'all. I'm really close. When I get there, I'm going to do this bag, y'all. It's huge. Leather on the bottom. Nice. What cup? Oh, you want to see me do the cup? <laughs> y'all want me to... Oh. Hey, Brenda. Thanks for joining. Oh, she got a brother, too. Yes, I love brothers. Yes, honey. Yes, I be trying to get it. She said, I'm going to go get it. I be trying. I do all kinds of things. I love crafting. Like I said, I started off doing the beaded bracelets and stuff 10 years ago. And then after that, I start, I wrote I wrote some novels. I got like 12 books out there on Amazon. Check me out on Amazon. I love writing. I wrote children books. I wrote poetry books. I wrote teenage, teenage inspirational books for um, teenage girls. I love it. I love crafting. Now, I, let me open my box from, um, ugh. So you getting, ugh. Look, y'all. What I got here? What I got here? Girl, I had to go on Cricket to get it. Cricket website because everybody else was sold out. I went to Joanne's. I went to Michael's. I went everywhere. Walmart. I mean, your Walmart. I went to everywhere. And it was all sold out. And y'all, I told y'all I wasn't going to get this thing today. <laughs> I got it. I'm always saying what I ain't going to get. And I get it. And I don't need it. I just want to get it so I can show y'all how to work it. And <laughs> that's my excuse. And I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow, join me for another live. Because I will be doing a tumbler in it. I already got my design. I'm going to use it. Let me find my design. I'm going to be using it tomorrow. I don't want to do it tonight. Because I don't want to be on this live all night. And I want to. Because I know you got to hook it up to the computer. You got to do all that stuff. I'm going to open it up. Just give me a second. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to use this design tomorrow. To do this. I'm going to do a tumbler, 20 ounce tumbler, right here tomorrow. So check me out tomorrow. I don't know what time yet. Mm, I don't want to give y'all time either because my days be hectic. So I don't know. It's going to be, it ain't going to be this late though. I'm going to be doing late. It's going to be probably around 7. Probably about 7 tomorrow. I'm going to do this tumbler. And if I mess it up, I'm going to mess it up. Okay? Because I'm going to do it on live with y'all with no editing or no nothing. I'm going to do it on. So come back to tomorrow around 7 o'clock. I'm going to post it um, the time on my little um, comment thing on my group. I mean, on my Facebook page. You will be, I mean, on my um, YouTube channel, I'll post it on a little, what's it called? I can't think what that little link is called. Community. You, so you, if you're subscribed to me, you'll be able to, it should pop up on your, on your Facebook. What else on Facebook? On your YouTube. So join, go ahead and subscribe to me so I can see me do that mug tomorrow. That Tumblr tomorrow. I'm talking too bad. I can't think. But tonight, I'm doing a Tumblr with this. Somebody else had bought this already. How did I do that? Dang, I didn't know I had nothing on the back of that. Dang, I wonder if that's going to bleed through. Hope they don't bleed through. I didn't know I did that. But y'all with something to make sure. Do y'all think that's going to bleed through? Through the design? I didn't know I even did that. Wait, this is not even the right copy paper. Anyway, this is regular copy paper. But it's still a work. But I'm going to do this tonight. If you don't, hope it don't bleed through. If it do, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to go ahead and probably print it over again, which I didn't want to. But I'm going to do this tonight in my oven. I'm going to wrap that up on the while I'm on live with y'all. I got to print it out again because I don't want it to bleed through. But I made this for my customer already. And she's like, I want another one. I want another one. So she wants exactly the same thing again. So I'm going to make it again and ship it to her. Because she already purchased it. So she loved it. She's like, I love it. I want another one. So I hope it don't bleed through. I might have to do it. I might have to print it over again. But I thought I was going to be ready to go with it. And I didn't even know it was ink on the back of it. Ugh. That's a rich woman's purse. Hey, all my first timers. Hey, please subscribe to my channel. It's be gonna be a lot going on. I've been doing lives every day. It seems like every night. I'll be missing y'all. So I come over here and talk to y'all. Okay, let me get this out of here, y'all. Ah, me a minute. Look what I got. And like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna do a live of it. I don't wanna do it tonight because it's gonna be, I wanna be able to um I might I don't wanna I might program it all tonight on my on why y'all not online because I don't wanna go through all that programming part on the computer and stuff. Cause it's gonna be hard to show y'all. So I might program it on my computer into my cricket. And then I just probably just do the um mug tomorrow. I mean a tumbler tomorrow. But I'm not gonna try the tumbler until I get on a live with y'all. So if I mess it up, I'm gonna be messing it up with y'all. Y'all gonna be watching me. All gonna be Hey, I got it. 
It came from Cricket because everybody else was sold out. Let me open it up and show y'all how it looks. I know y'all seen it on YouTube all over the place. But I, um, show y'all how to do a tumbler tomorrow. 20 ounce tumbler. I know. I think it's, it might not bleed through, but I ain't about to mess. I'm about to go ahead and print it over again. Dang, I thought I was ready, y'all. I thought I was going to be like, let's put it out. Let's tape it up. I'm in the process of taping it up right now. So I'm glad I looked at it and looked and see that I had some ink on the other side. So now I got to get it together. Oh, it's so shiny. It's so nice. Uh, a new toy to add to my everything. Ooh, it's really not. It's really light. Okay, there's the mug press, y'all. A little cord going there. So that's, there we have it. Got the instructions. So there we have it, y'all. Tomorrow, I have an air fryer. I already, I do mugs in my air fryer. I do my tumblers in my um convention, my convection oven because the tumblers are too big to go in the air fryer. So yeah, I got now I got this one. I had a mug press from Amazon, but it only lasted for a couple of um, months, and it broke on me. And I didn't have no warranty on it, so I was mad about that. Wasting my money. So I did have a regular mug press. So after that broke, I ended up getting me the um, the the um, the air fryer. And that's been working. Oh, it's so beautiful. It works it works well. So then I got the only reason why I got the, um, the uh, convention oven, because I said I've been doing these tumblers. And I needed to have something bigger. And these won't fit in the, um, this won't fit in the air fryer. Okay? So I got it, y'all. I got it. Yeah, air fryer. She said air fryer question mark. You don't know about that? Check out my page, y'all. Yes, I can sublimate a mug in the air fryer, and they are beautiful. I wish I could show y'all when I already did, but I don't have any up down here. But yes, yeah, an air fryer. Uh, but you don't use it again for your food. You use it for just crafting and, and for confection oven also. You use it for crafting. Don't use it for food again. They down here in my basement, and I use it for crafting. Yes, honey, check out my web. Uh, check out my page. My um, yes. She said no. Wow. <laughs> yes. Believe me, you will believe it when you see it. Right, right. Don't you buy the oven for your for your crafting. And it's it, it for your business. It's not just crafting. It's for my business. I sell these things. I have a um. I had a um, sh um kiosk in the mall, and I sold out my tumblers and t and mugs every day. Had to come back home and put some more in the oven in the air fryer and sell some more. So it's for your business, okay? It's a it's like a it's like a it's a big um heat press, mug press. It's heat. So anything you can put heat, you can heat it up. You can do it. It's sublimation, okay? I'm telling y'all gonna be amazed. Check out my page. Check out my um YouTube channel. I got one that says sublimating the mug in the air fryer. Or sublim and I got another one called sublimating the tumbler in the in the convection oven. So check me out, boo boos. Check me out. This is my printers that I use. I use the P800. I mean a P800. I use the um, Epson 700, 7710 and 7720. I'm about to go ahead and put my paper in here so I can go ahead and do another um, tumbler printout. This time I'm going to use the Epson paper. This Epson, I use this paper for my sublimation. I know y'all probably going to ask. Um, this printer prints up to 13 by 19. This right here is 11 by 17. Okay? If you want to print big, you can print in Silhouette Studio, which is free. You can get it for free. Or you can print big in um, Microsoft Word. Okay? So this paper going inside here. And it goes in here. This is my sublimation printer. And this is my regular printer when I have pigment ink in it. Pig, pigment ink in it. And yesterday I showed y'all how to change y'all ink. I did that yesterday. I did my sublimation ink yesterday. And I was supposed to do that tumbler yesterday. But I was like, nah, not today. So I got my, my convection oven over there warming up. I'm about to go ahead and go to Silhouette Studio and print this out real quick. And answer y'all questions after I print it out. Because I can't talk to y'all while I'm on Silhouette Studio. Because I can't really see what y'all are talking about. Let me see. What kind and what size you're printing. What you say? So this is sublimation right here. This is all ink. There's no vinyl. This is sublimation. It's ink into your um heat. You, you press the heat um, on the paper. You have to have a sublimation printer, sublimation paper, sublimation ink, and the heat press. Okay? You want to learn about sublimation? Check out my, my channel. Oh, thank you, Rodriguez. 
She watched my videos all day. Aw, uh, I appreciate you. So a lot of knowledge on there, y'all. A lot of knowledge. I don't know everything, but whatever I learn, I teach. I come on my channel and I teach you. I show you what I've learned. What kind and what size your printer? Pete. Epson 7720. Epson 7710. The only thing different between these two is this one has two. This one has two trays. One, two. The only two. That's the only difference. This only have one tray. It's the only difference. So this one is bigger. And this one is smaller. It's the only difference. But they all can both be used for sublimation. Because you can change the ink to make a sublimation ink. So this you got to convert this printer, which is basically you putting sublimation ink in this printer. Okay? But I do have the big boy over here. It's, it's covered with stuff, okay? But yeah, don't look at my craft room, y'all. Oh, Lord. Yeah. But yeah, this is the big baby right here, the Epson right here. This is the real sublimation printer. And it prints, um, uh, was it, 22 inches wide. Or tw what is it? 24, 22? I gotta write that down because you're not be forgetting, y'all. But that's the big boy right there. Epson SC 570. Okay, I got them teddy bears. I'm not gonna do them bunnies down here. But the reason why I, everybody say, why you gonna print that big? The reason why I got that is because I can print multiple things. Like I had a shirt order to do, and I can print more than one shirt. Like right here, it's only gonna be one shirt. Then by 17, it's one shirt, one, Im one image, okay? But over there, if you use that one, I can print like five or six shirts at one time, the paper for that. Like this size right here, the paper is going to be about this size for a shirt. This is 11 by 17, but I cut it. So um, you're going to need about this image for a shirt. So I can do a lot at the same time, but this one only can do one. Okay? So that's the reason I got that. I didn't get it to print that big. I got it to print multiple things. Like I was printing up these masks like crazy. Like I was printing them things up, and I had like 20 masks. and just go, keep on going, keep on going. But with here, you only can put like five masks on here. And then you cut them out. But on there, you can put as many as you want. That's why I bought it. Because I, I was, shoot. I was rocking it, y'all, so I had to get that. I had to get it. Yeah, the Inco Tank, or oh, the Epson Inco Tanks, okay. The mug, this, the Cricut mug press was like, how much is it, 200? One something? It was cheap on, I was surprised that Cricut had it cheaper than some of the stores. I think it was like 180 on Cricut. Go to Cricut um, website, they're cheaper than the other store, but everybody else is sold out. I just, I just knew that Cricut was going to be sold out, but they wasn't. I started off with a small room and, and what is it, and, and, and Ken. I started off with a small room and I had to come back, I had to come to my basement. Because I was like, no, nah, I can't do it. I was stuck in this little small room. Now I'm putting stuff in my small room because I got too much stuff down here. But I got two businesses. I got, like I said, I got my boutique for grown, adult stuff and everything I personalized. And I got a, a children boutique coming up next month. I'm going to be um, launching next month, right after the holidays. Got two. No, it's not just sitting, honey. She said I got two. Two. I'm just sitting. No, I'm. Somebody said that I'm gonna sell my um my other stuff when I um buy my big one. No, I'm not. I didn't sell these. I'm not selling these. I bought that one because I can run like right now. I'm about to use these right now. I've used this. I use all of them because I can run a lot at the same time. So I ain't gonna sell these babies. These gonna be my. They gonna be here. They gonna be here because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this right now. As a matter of fact. So let me go ahead and get this together so I can print it out because my oven is heating up. So I can get this out. Y'all can, can see me wrap it up and put it in the oven and all that kind of good stuff. Y'all want me to, if y'all want to. I got, ooh, I got 213 people watching. Thumbs up, please, if you like this video. Thumbs up on the, um, like this video if you want to see me sublimate a mug in a convection oven. A tumbler in a convection oven. I'm sorry. I'm talking fast. That's a disclaimer. I talk fast. I'm going to put this image on this tumbler. Thumbs up on, like this video if you want to see me do this tonight. Right now. In my convection oven. I need more thumbs. I got 219 people in here. I need to see more thumbs up. Please and thank you. Let me go ahead and go into my silhouette studio. And y'all can see. I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Let me show y'all how I do on silhouette studio. I'll put this in my lap real quick. Mm. Oh. There's my heat presses over there, y'all. I got the 16 by 24. And I also got the 15 by something 15 by 15 okay let's see let's go down here put this in my lap and y'all can see what i got going on here on my little macbook okay i'm gonna go into silhouette studio it's gonna be hard doing with one hand y'all but hold on let me oh, i could do this i can put this i can let me get situated y'all i'm gonna put this uh put the legs down on this thing and it'll work better Duh. 
See, I'm getting used to these lives because when I usually do regular videos, I don't got to do all this. Y'all don't see all this stuff. I'm used to editing. So I don't like all this unprofessional stuff, but you got to get what I get because it's alive. So you're going to see me do all the stuff, all the background work. I mean, all the, yeah, the back. Let me see, about this high, right here. Perfect, so I can use both of my hands. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna do the last leg, y'all. Give me a second. There we go. Okay. Oh, shoot, let's see. Let me go down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your first time. I'm just getting my uh, tripod, to get, tripod together so y'all can see what I'm doing so I can show y'all how to do on silhouette to get this, um, there we go. Uh, let me turn that I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get together. Get together right now. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think. I think. I don't think on locks on here. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say okay, but it's not okay. Okay. I got it now. Whew, Jesus. That was a lot of work. Okay, can y'all see that? Thumbs up if you can see that. Okay, I got 170 um nine likes. Thank you for the likes. Okay, let me go ahead and um get up some so y'all can see it. Okay, so this, let me go to um Silhouette Studio, which is a free. Everybody was saying, do you have to have a cameo for Silhouette Studio? No, you do not, honey. No, you do not. So I'm going to pull that up. All my little stuff is on here. So please forgive me for all the stuff that I have. This is the design right here. Um, I This is this 11 by 17 paper right here. See how big the paper is? You can print this out. This is how big the sheet is. 11 by 17. I'm going to go through how to do Silhouette Studio. I'm just doing this right now. Let me, check, let me get this out the way because it's somebody's picture that they sent me for a mug, Tumblr. I don't want nobody to see all, all them pictures. This one too. Let me hide these real quick. Ooh, a lot of photos on here. Oh, hope anybody don't get me. Oh, this is my cousin. Y'all can see them. They're my cousin. So I did a Tumblr. I did this Tumblr for my cousin, for her boys. And it, I love doing photos. So check me out. I can do a photo Tumblr like right here. This is a photo Tumblr I did. Can y'all see that? For her, with her kids on them. So yep, yeah, I do those also. Check out my YouTube. I mean, check out my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique, number two, all one word, which is in the comments below. Okay. So let me. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and print this one. No, this is all I'm gonna print. So then I also cut it my cut my templates out for my bows. And so that I showed y'all earlier, I put that on silhouette because you can print big in silhouette. You can't print this big in Cricut, okay? And you can get this whole silhouette studio for free. Yes, honey, free. You don't have to have a cameo, okay? Uh oh, shoot. Where you go? Silhouette studio. Okay, so what I do for me, uh, okay, so what I need to do is go ahead and go to, um, go over here to file, no, file, print setup right here. Can y'all see that? Thumbs up if y'all can see that. Then I'm using 717, and I'm using, um, it's called tabloid paper, 11 by 17, so I push OK. And I usually do this right here when I haven't used my printer in a long time, because it's basically push all the ink out to make the ink, to make the, make, to make the print better. So I got this from Cosmo Inks on his YouTube channel, on his um, Facebook group. So this is really good to use when you haven't used your printer all day because sometimes the ink can get stuck and your colors don't come out. So all these little blocks right here is all full of color. So to push the ink out before it gets to my picture. Okay? So that's what I did yesterday. So I'm going to do it again today because I haven't been using my printer all day. Okay? So then I'm going to go ahead and go to File. Then I go to Print. I got my stuff hooked on to my, um, with my little... I got this hooked up. This is my printer right here because I don't like using Wi-Fi because anything can happen. And Wi-Fi can go out in the middle of a print and you'll be jacked up. Got to do it over again. So I just do it like this. I'm old school. Okay, 7710 right here is the printer. Can y'all see that? Um, then I go to media quality. Make sure the layout. Make sure the layout is um, uh, flip horizontally. And then you go to um, make sure it's on best right here. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And I got the paper in there already. And I'm about to print it. Make sure you turn your paper upside down. And it's about to print, y'all. Y'all gonna see it come out. Prints. And that's really it. That's all you gotta do. And they're gonna print this out for me. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna put it on my, my tumbler. Make sure it's all in there. Lately, my stuff been going slow. So we'll see how long it's gonna take that to happen. But this is Silhouette Studio, y'all. But I got the business edition. But you can get the free edition. And you'll be all set to go, honey. So let me go ahead and let this 
get it together because it's gonna be a minute because it's kind of been kind of my internet could be kind of slow. Got to call them and see what what they be doing, what they over there doing. Okay, so let me put my tripod back to where it was because I don't need it up no more. Well, I will need it up again because I'm gonna be over there at the oven, so I'm gonna just leave it up like this and just have y'all down here. I'm gonna have to have it up anyway for the when I get to the oven. Okay. Sorry. Let me just get this tripod together so I can be able to have it ready for the oven so y'all can be able to see me put it. Well, y'all didn't gotta see me put it in the oven, but it don't matter. I can leave it, leave it up like this. Anyway. Any questions about what I just did? Go ahead and ask your question. Ask your questions, please. If you got any questions? Why I'm waiting for this to print? Cause it's taking a minute. This is my internet, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Look at my computer. Okay, look at my computer because I'm waiting for this thing to print. So I'm gonna see if I can do it on my phone. I need a good video on how to split an image and silhouette business. Why are you splitting it? You splitting it because you're making a big shirt, an all over shirt or something? Because so the web print to um 19 by 13 by 19. You can print 13 by 19 in silhouette. My sublimation keep ghosting on your um Dollar Tree notebooks. Is it glitter? Glitter notebooks? Make sure is it glitter on the notebooks? I forgot who answered that question. So, Kimberly, are you saying yes, it's glitter, no books? I forgot who answered the question, so I don't know if you're saying yes to something else. But just make sure if it's ghosting, that means you're moving. Either moving the image while you're in, it's inside the um, your heat press or something. Make sure you tape the image down with the heat press tape. Then make sure you um, cover it up with butcher paper and don't move it. I don't know. That's the only thing, ghosting, I can think when you're moving it, you're shifting it around somewhere. See, I yeah, some people only can print eight and a half by, but we can print big on these, on these, on these two. Come on now, why is it taking so long for you to print out? I'm ready to come out. Come on, we got things to do here. It's been slow. My internet been slow. I do. Oh, for little girls, um, I can. She said, do I teach craft classes for little girls? Yeah, I can. I, I'm here in Ohio, and I have a daycare center. I'm a, I'm a CEO. Uh, my amazing grace child care down here in ohio so i can they can come to my daycare center on the weekend because we close on the weekend i can do that so the mission you use for substitutes you use for epoxy yes i do it's called crystal lac she said do i have a video any questions and it's not a topic you can ask any questions here any questions um i use crystal lac and i do have a video it's an old video because crystal lac is a lot of different steps to go to it it's it's, it's a process but I love it. I wouldn't change it because it looks good. And I think I wish I had some crystal lac cups, but I sold them all. I will show y'all how it looks. It looks just like epoxy, but it's a lot of steps. But it's not strong like epoxy. It's not uh, toxic like epoxy. And um, but you guys just got more steps you got to do. You don't got to worry about stirring nothing up. You just put the stuff. You just pour it in the cup and you just uh, put it on. But you got a lot of more steps you got to do than epoxy. Than epoxy. What what would goes? Yeah, make sure you have tape on it. You you wasn't, you wasn't using tape on it. That's the probably that's the problem why you had a problem. Make sure you tape it down, the image down on your notebook. Any other questions? This is taking forever. It's always something. Like, come on, it was just I just printed out yesterday. Why is you acting like this, printer? Oh, now we want to come. There you go. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. Come on. We're waiting on you. So I can tip you up. I can get this lady tumbled out to her. Any more questions? Oh my God, it's 1244 here. I said I was going to be here for an hour. It's over an hour. Can you give a, group, give a tour? A tour of this place? Oh my God, it's a mess. I mean, it's not a mess. It's just crowded. I got stuff I got to unpack. I did buy some more stuff. I was going to do a little um, cleaning up video. But I was like, forget, let me go ahead and clean up myself. So I did a lot of cleaning before I had this live. 
So I'm, I got more containers and things from um, Walmart today. And I'm putting a lot of stuff up. And, but I got a whole pile of stuff that I got to go through still. A lot of fabric I've been buying. ain't been doing nothing with it. No, I didn't show the blanket. Shane! Shane! My son, I thought he probably he should be asleep. It's one, it's one o'clock. But knowing him, he might not be sleeping. I was gonna bring tell him to bring the blanket down, but he must be sleeping because he didn't answer me. I didn't show the blanket yet. I keep on forgetting to get it and bring it down here. Come on now, here you coming. Yay. Why is it showing it? Oh, there you go. It's coming. About darn time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the cup. What you mean to block images? I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah, I can never find them either. What I did was I bought a whole case of them when they was when they had them, and somebody shipped it to me. I think somebody shipped me a case of them before, cause I couldn't. They don't have them in Toledo. They don't have them nowhere in Ohio. Well, not not everywhere, but not in Toledo. It's, it's, they sold out. They don't have them. So like, some people get them. Somebody just said on my Facebook group they said they got them. They usually get them around school time, but we don't got them. We don't got them. And then they even sold out on the website, okay? So you just like them reap things. They sold out too, man, to get somebody else to ship it to me. A lot of things sell out over here, and I got to have somebody ship it, ship it to me. Okay? Here it is. It always looked, when you do something, it always looked dog on the paper, but then the heat um, makes it... Um, the colors pop, okay? After you put the heat on it, it pops. So it looks dark. It's always gonna look dark. So if you get supplements, it's gonna always look dark like this. So don't be scared about. It. Don't be worried about that. So it came out really good. No black. No, you got no black lines going across it. That means my ink is good. So it look good, y'all. Let me go ahead and cut this out. Let me show y'all. I'm gonna cut this out and put it on the put it on the um tumbler. Unplug my little stiff. Okay, so what I do is, oh, these are my fabric scissors. I got to put them away. I can't cut paper with my fabric scissors now, y'all. I'm going to be messing. Let me throw this in the way so I won't mess this up. on. But I could probably put this on a, something else, like a, um, a, a mouse pad or something. It might not go through on a mouse pad, but I just don't want to mess with this dang on Tumblr. I basically didn't use this because I got the idea, did like a printer check or whatever. And I had it on that, I didn't know I did that, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to... Hello, I'm sorry. I seen it froze. I didn't do anything. I just waited for it to come back. And my internet going slow, but I'm back, y'all. I seen that it froze up, and I just stopped what I was saying. I didn't say anything while it was froze, so I'm back. So I'm just cutting it close as you can get because whatever you don't, the white will show up if you, I mean, you know, sublimate don't sublimate white. It's sublimate colors. So you can just make sure you get close so you won't have no kind of fade or nothing like that. He pressed, do you use... Say it again. It went too fast. I use um, Heat Press Nation. I love Heat Press Nation. I have the 15, I had the 16 by 24 slide drawer. And I also have the 15 by 15. I bought that one first and it was too small. And I got the big boy. I get my tumblers from um, Condi.com. Perfect, y'all. Perfect. My, my measurements for the um, tumblers are 9.5. I mean, 9.6 by 8.2, and it's perfect. I get it from Condi. I can, um, you see my old videos, and I also put it on the video below. This video below, you can, if you go to Condi and ask for Chloe Smith and tell her I sent you, she will give you a discount on your stuff. Okay? I love, I get my, my tumblers, and I get my, um, mugs from, um, Condi.com. And I, but I get some from, um, so a couple of other people places too, but I don't need to. I throw it away. I just get it so I can get some good push push the ink out. If you don't use your machine, so this I do the I do the tape measure. I, mean, I do the tape met method. I do the um heat transfer tape, and I do the um painters tape. Okay, it's a lot of taping to go around here. I tried to use the uh, silicone wrap or whatever that, that stuff you use. What's that stuff you call? Uh, when you heat it up on it, let me put my thing on here so I can see what y'all talking about. What's that stuff called? The shrink wrap. I tried to use a shrink wrap, but that didn't work for me. So this is how I do it. It's a lot of steps in here. It's, it's, it can be like, uh, crazy. But that's the reason why I want to go ahead and do use the easy. Hold on. Let me find out what I'm looking for. I can't think and talk at the same time. I got to put this up so I can see what y'all talking about. Okay. I'm going to put it up here so I can see. 
What y'all talking about why I'm wrapping this cup? So there's a lot of steps to this. Um, the reason why I did, the reason why I did get the um Cricut Easy the Cricut mug press is because I don't gotta worry about taping all this stuff. Well, you do gotta still tape it. Excuse me. Yes, you do. You still gotta tape it, but you don't have to do the last stage. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. I got 193 people on here. Hey, hey, hey! Please give this video a thumbs up on the top of your screen. Please give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to. You want to see me do this um tumbler? Let me ask y'all questions while I give my thumbs up. I mentioned the name of the referral when I made the first kind of order. Hope you get credit. Yep. If you say my name, I will get credit and you will get a discount. What's the lady's name on? Chloe Smith. Oh, the blocks I just printed. I'm sorry. You said, uh, where did I get it from? I'm sorry. The block, I got it from Cosmo. Um, He has it on his page. You can go in there and screenshot it. Cosmo Inc. and it's called Sublimation uh, Cove. I think it's yeah, Sublimation Cove on his on Facebook. Yeah, I love Heat Press Nation. Heat Press Nation, they are expensive, but you get what you pay for. And they, they got good customer service. Somebody said they're looking for Heat Press. Um, yes, because they got good customer service, okay? And you get warranties and stuff. I love them. I mean, I so look right here. I did not. Um, I need. I should cut it a little bit so it could be so it won't overlap a little bit because it will show that on my cup. So I'm gonna cut it just a little bit so it could be close to um so it won't overlap. So it won't have it because this this it, it overlap. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit more so it won't. Let me see. Make sure it's even because if it's not even, it's gonna be too short. Oh, that's that's cutting it real close. Cutting it real close, y'all. But I could do a little bit. But I don't want to cut it too much because it will be too short. And I would be have to make print out a thing, another whole another sheet. And I don't want to do that. So I just do a little bit. Perfect. I'll be scared. I'm gonna get too close and I'm gonna do it all over. But okay, so you get it as tight as you can. Make sure I stay in this camera. Set it down and get it tight as you can. Make sure it's over, it's it's, t it's closed up so you want no line. Even though I might still get a ghost in, I might get still. I always get ghosted. I don't care. My customers still like it. I'm not perfect, so it won't be perfect. But it's not gonna be look bad, okay? I had never. But this this image is kind of crazy because it's good. if you can see, you're gonna be able to tell. But if you got a solid color, you're gonna be able to tell. But this image is gonna be kind of it's gonna be kind of different. You can it's um the way this image is. Okay, so what I do is, like I said, I do I do the tape method. You could do the shrink wrap, but true wrap did not work for me. So I do the tape. This is what works for me. So I use the painters. I use the um the tape. I got a video on how to do this also. But what I do is I hold it tight. And the basic thing you need to do is make sure this paper is tight on this tumbler so that ink can transfer on there with the heat. Okay, so it's got to be tight. If it's not tight, it ain't gonna. And if it's not tight, it ain't gonna work. So basically, I take this piece of tape and I pull it over as far as I can to keep it. Going everything going this way, shifting the paper close tightly so it will print. Okay, so I take some tape and I keep on going and pull it so you won't get no gaps or anything. Pull this, I don't got that much tape though, but see how I'm just taking it and I'm pulling the paper, paper over so it can be closed so you won't have that little so you won't have no kind of line going through. I'm gonna try to do this fast. I want this video. I need to be off this video. I'm gonna do some um. If I get do this, after I do this tumbler, I'm gonna go ahead and get off the live. Cause I've been on live every night. Oh, I got 204 people on here and 204 likes. I appreciate y'all. Oh, this is crafting at the dark. Yesterday we was crafting. We were sipping on wine last night. We had some fun last night. I was doing uh, I was doing. I did a lot of stuff. Every time I get on live, I do all kind of stuff. Never know what's gonna happen on my lives, y'all. So you press it tight so you can make sure you get all the air. Basically, you don't want to get no air inside of this paper, okay? That's the main th thing you need to do. Don't put get no air in here. And I tried, like I said, I tried shrink wrap. Shrink wrap didn't work for me. So I do the tape method. This is the tape method. So I do like this. And see how this is um it's closed and tight. So I go over here, take some more tape, and I go on top. And I make sure no air. Just seal a whole cup up, y'all. And you don't, like, this is the same thing you got to do this. You got to do the same thing, too, with the heat press, though. The quick, easy press. You got to do the same thing, so. But you could use, you could try to use the, um, the silicone, I mean, the um, shrink wrap. But this is the process that I don't like. I don't like doing all this. I don't like doing this. There's no other easy way to do it, y'all, unless you use a shrink wrap. 
But like I said, I'm going to try to use the shrink wrap with the easy press. But I'm going to hurt that it melts a little bit. But I heard it's a lot of hacks you can do. It's a lot of hacks you can do with that easy press. So I'm going to show y'all tomorrow. Because I've been researching. So I got all the hacks for y'all. And like I said, I might try to do it with the this, this, uh, this shrink wrap tomorrow. Because I hate this taping process. But you want good stuff? I got to I gotta do it. This is how I do it. I've been, I did over a, a whole lot of cups. Because like I said, I've been a whole lot of tumblers. I've been selling out. And it's, I got to come home every night and do these over. When I had that boutique at the mall, I was coming home every night doing this. But I got my money. Just make sure ain't no air. You just make sure it's tight. It's a process, y'all. They be like, girl, why you doing all that tape? It's a process. I'm sorry. It's a process. So do the same thing for the bottom of the, the, the thing. Pull it down so no air won't get in here. And then, like I said, if you get ghosting on stuff, that's the reason why you're getting ghosted because you got air coming through it. Like I do these, I do these um, sublimation slates and stuff with pictures on them. And I got to wrap the whole thing in tape so we don't get no air in it. And it comes out perfect. Okay, you don't want no air in your, in your um, getting in there. That's the main thing. That's why the shrink wrap is good, but I try shrink wrap, y'all. Yes, it's a lot of tape, y'all. And I'm not done. Still got to do this tape, too. <laughs> so I ain't done. Yeah, it was a... <laughs> she said last night was a trip. Yeah, it was a lot going on. People were trying to get in my... In the, in the, and doing crazy stuff. You know, the freaks come out at night. That's what I'm trying to get on out of here. But now I got a moderator, so she get us right. Make sure everything, nobody don't come in, hopefully. Okay, so I'm just making sure it's tight. And one more thing I got to do before I put the other tape on there. Y'all going to be like, girl, that's too much tape. But that's what you got to do to get some stuff. So I, I basically go down again so that he won't come in here. I'm telling you, I did that before, and it works. But it must, it works. Who else does Who else um do this method? Let me see your thumbs up in the comments. Who else do the tape method? A lot of people don't like, but people are like, why? Why are you going through all that? Yes. Okay, so see, so, your know, Kimberly said the, sh the shrink wrap didn't work. And it's crazy because shrink wrap is supposed to be used for this. And it's not. Like, I tried it. Believe me, I wish I could do shrink wrap. I bought shrink wrap and I still have it. I wish I could use shrink wrap. But it won't work. She said, girl, put me a wing in the oven. <laughs> Nope, no more food going over. You got it. It's all about the crafting. So now I gotta tape this <laughs> over here just to make this more makes it more secure. More tape, more secure. So I'm putting it on here. I make this overlap on the top like this and just pull it. So yeah, girl, it's a process. It's a process. So I'm gonna keep on going, doing this. And then I take it, smooth it, and then I bend it in. And after I do this part, I gotta I put it in the oven for seven minutes. Hold on, let me see, make sure my oven is up, heated, is up, get this all together. Okay, my oven is hot and ready. So I'm gonna get this tape and finish doing this. But I'll be on, I'll be just basically watching YouTube while I do this. I usually put it in my lap because I can, I can hold it close on my, like this. But, um, I'm on the video, so I'm trying to show y'all how I'm doing it. Pulling it tight, and I like this thick painter painter tape because if you use the white painter tape, it's too thin. So you got me. That means you got more tape you're gonna be using. But this is thicker, more is wider, so you get more coverage at one at one strip. She still haven't used it. I'm gonna use it tomorrow. So come back tomorrow around. I say about seven or eight o'clock. I'm gonna do a live on the um doing a mug, a tumbler. I'm sorry. I might do a mug too. Cause y'all know I get on this live, I'll be on there all night. I don't got no orders. To, I, I'm trying to get my orders done tonight, so I don't got to worry about doing nothing tomorrow. So um, I don't have to worry about getting off the live. But I'm going to probably be on there between 7 and 8 o'clock tomorrow. Because, you know, the holiday coming up this weekend. I'm thinking about going to Chicago to, um, for the holiday just to go. Just to go. I don't got nobody down there. I'm just going just to get out of the city for the holiday. Who in Chicago? And is it everything shut down in Chicago? Can we do stuff down there? Or is things still shut down? Thinking about coming to Chicago about four hours away. 
take a drive and chill for the weekend for the um new i mean for the um holiday weekend okay so now i'm just make sure it's cool and i make sure the paint the tape down here but make sure your the, the, the painter's tape is not on your cup make sure it's only on the tape okay and that's it <laughs> that's it like like it wasn't like that was easy Okay. Okay, so that's it. So now I'm about to put it in the oven. I'm about to set my timer for um. I'm gonna show you how I set my timer. Let me get, let me get everything situated. Get my get my laptop. Me my. Let me see what I'm gonna get to. I ain't gonna let y'all see it. Get, um, the whole time. I'm just gonna put it in there. Let me get talk. I'm gonna just show you how it looks. My how I put it in there though. Okay. There's my oven. I got the um Oster, the Oster, the French door oven for convection oven. I put it on 400 and I turn it on. I don't use this. I don't use this timer. I use my own timer and I put it on um 450 and it's on turbo. I do sometimes. I put it on bro, on bro or bake. It don't matter. Some um turbo and bake is the same to me. I mean it works the same. I haven't had no problems with it, so I just keep it on turbo. And I got two um, thermometers in there to see, make sure it's around 385, 400. You can see I got two of them, one in the front, one in the back to keep your temperature. Because sometimes it's lower. You want to make sure it's cool. Now, I pray this time works. I've been having issues with my tumblers lately, so I pray that this work while I'm on this, on this live, y'all. I don't want to do it over again. I don't want to do it over again. Make sure y'all have y'all heat gloves. Where's my heat gloves at? I don't know. Ugh. I'm always listen, moving, listen, moving stuff. Okay, here are my heat gloves. Cause it's gonna get hot, hot. Let me check. Let me get my um tablet. So I can set my timer. So like I said, what I do is I set it for 385 to 400, and I turn as and I put it on for three hundred three minutes and thirty seconds. Then I turn it and I do it again for three hundred three thirty, and I turn it again. But I turn, I mean, I turn it a few times between those, between that time. So for 3.30 and 3.30, it come up to like seven minutes all together. But I, I'm getting my timer, y'all. So I don't use that timer on that thing. I don't, let me see, I usually use my phone. So I'm trying to find a timer on this iPad. Oh, here it is. Uh, timer. I'll put it on for three thirty, three minutes and thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. And what I do is, um, okay, now this three minutes thirty six. I put it right here. And then what I do is, I I don't put no shelf or nothing in here. I just let it sit on the bottom of the thing. And I just put it in here, right in the middle. Well, not in the middle because you can't put it in the middle. Put it in there and I push the timer. And then I just basically after a couple minutes, every other minute or two two minutes, I just turn it. Turn it. Okay? But I let it run for six. All the gas is gonna be seven minutes, okay? So now y'all know y'all wanna see that bacon. So we're gonna go back over here. And when it's all done, you're gonna see what it came out to be. Let me go ahead and put this back down on the table. couple minutes I go over and I turn it especially when I do photos and stuff on like photos with real photos you can make sure you turn it a lot because you want to get that even coverage sorry I'm trying to get <laughs> I'm trying to get it down sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy okay so right now it's two minutes and 22 seconds left for this um go around so let me go ahead and go over there and just um turn my cup a little bit it's a, not all the way around I just do it halfway Now 
And also, all the way turn it clockwise. Ugh. So when the first beep go, I'm going to go back and turn it back over, do it again. So all the guys going to be seven minutes. Any questions? Let me see what y'all talking about over here. Something to drink. Let me see. What y'all saying? Oh, shoot. Let's see. Oh, my timer. Hold on, my timer. My iPad went out. I couldn't see how much time I had left. Okay, you said. No, you use a heat Yeah, use a heat gun for shrink wrap. I think I'm glad you're learning. Thank you for st staying with me. Oh, good. You told your mother about the thread in the truck. Um, yesterday I was telling you about the yeah, it's a prank. I mean, basically it's a um, you could do that without buying them stands, which can't be expensive. I learned that from somebody else. I didn't make it up. Somebody else. I learned it from somebody else. Just to get the heat. Um, the, just to elevate the heat. Just turn it. Just turn it. People don't turn it, but I do. Sometimes I don't turn it, don't come out right. So I'm turning it again. And what I do, what I found is best is I let it cool a long time. Like, because if you don't let it cool a long time, it's going to be really sticky and icky. It's going to be all that tape residue going to be on your fingers and stuff and on the cup and stuff and you got to clean it. So I let it cool until it's cold, like at least 20 minutes, yeah, maybe longer. Cause I don't like to have that. Cause when I first started doing tumblers, I was getting all that sticky residue and it was all my fingers. Now I still wear gloves with that, but I rather not even do it like that. I rather just so that's my first time going around. So I'm gonna do another three thirty. I don't know why I just don't put seven minutes in there all at once, but I just like to do it like this. This is how I do it. You can do all the whole seven minutes and just keep on getting up and turning it. But I like doing it like this. This is how I do it. So yeah. So now I learned to just let it let it sit for a long time. Let it cool off. I let it cool off on some um on a, on the uh, on the light surface. So it won't melt anything. I use this stuff. I can't think of the darn name of it. Let me show y'all. Tell Teflon paper. I said on some Teflon paper, let it cool off. And um, when it cool off, I take the tape off, wipe it down with alcohol. If there's anything on there, any residue from the tape, wipe it down with alcohol, and you're good to go. You can also use this other stuff called, um, dang, what's it called? I have some right here too. I don't know what I did with it. But some other stuff you can use to get the residue off too. But I just use alcohol. Mm. Yes, honey. He says, is there a video on the ladies on the wall? Yes, those are called the Afro Reefs. The Afro Reef Divas. And I do have a video on that. I can show y'all. Where is she at? Right here. They're Afro Reef Divas. And I got one over there. I'm going to show y'all another one too. But I got for my mother for Chris. Um, that's for her birthday coming up in May for Mother's Day. Her birthday is May 13th. And Mother's Day right around the corner. So I got one for her. I'm going to show y'all real quick how it looks. But yeah, I got a video on that. They're called Afro Reef Divas. I saw, I was so many of those reefs, y'all. There's so much fun making those things. They're huge. They're huge, huge, huge. Let me show y'all what I already, I got from my mother. I'm not going to everything over. This is what I got. I made for my mother. It's huge, y'all. This is mesh. And, um... A cardboard. Isn't she beautiful? She don't know. I made it. She, I made one. My, I made one for my grandmother, and I made one. I made her a Michelle Obama one, and she loved it. This is my for my mother. This is the back of it. This is the front. Ooh, getting stuck. This is all mesh. Okay, we almost done. Let's see what the timer say. Oh, we got fifty-four seconds, y'all. Then I'm gonna let it sit out. I'm gonna let it cool off in a minute. And I'll come back over here and I'll. Let 
Let's see what y'all talking about. Thank you, thank you. I love them. Y'all made so many of them. I made so many of those. Check out my um Etsy page. Show, show you all the pictures that I made of the ones I made already. Charming Gal Boutique on Etsy. Charming Gal Boutique with the number two. I'm going to put that down here. Just go check out my site. And if you like the things you see, just like my site. Then go ahead and like it. That's on Etsy. I just put my Etsy on there. Now my timer's up. I'm about to go get my temp tumbler out. I'm going to just let it sit on the heat press and let it cool. And I'll ask, this, ask some of y'all questions while it's cooling off. And after this, I'm going to be off for tonight. Do some more work. And I got to get done. Let me show y'all this. Look, it's that. This mama's steaming. If y'all see that steam coming out of there, it's steaming. Ooh, that's a lot of steam. So it's, it's not that strong of a smell, but it is strong. So you might want to put a fan on a little bit. But this is how it looks. You can see it's getting dark. The paper is getting dark. And sometimes the paper come, it fall off a little bit. And it's hot as heck. But these gloves are the bomb. And I got them on backwards. But it's still the bomb. But it's getting hot. So let me put it down. <laughs> Okay, turn my thing off. So I'm gonna let it cool over there on the heat press in about another 15 minutes or whatever. Or whatever. I'm gonna let it um I'm hitting the thing. I'm gonna go get it. So let me see, ask your questions. Yes, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and do a tour, y'all. Even though I have a video on my um craft room, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a quick tour. I got my lights on over there, or is that bulb on? Um, real quick, let me show y'all what I'm working with. I'm gonna show y'all my mesh that I have. I gotta let that cool off. And I really don't have nothing to say, and nothing else to talk about. <laughs> y'all not answering too many questions. Sorry, I'm crutching on ice, but I'm addicted to ice. Let me give one more piece. got the camera here. I'm going to be chewing on it. Okay. Let me do a little tour. Like I said, I'm going to show you other things. Don't, don't look at my carpet because my vacuum cleaner is broke. And I got it's at the shop right now. And it's all, it's the only thing on here is thread. I got thread everywhere. So I'm going to come, I'm going to show y'all, ooh. From coming down my steps, okay? From my entry of my, um, basement. Why does it seem like it's dark in here? Okay, this is, oh, it is dark. Okay, here's my, in, oh, let me turn the camera. This is my steps right here. Got my door closed. My son up there. Let me show y'all. Right here is my ironing board. I'm going to go fast. I ain't going to be really long on this part. But thank y'all for the 208 people watching. This calendar right here is what I have for my, my everything going on. Stuff I got to ship out. This <laughs> ironing board is not really used as an ironing board. I use it to have all my stuff that I need to go out. Now, this right here, I got to go out. This got to go out. This is just sitting here because I got to take it upstairs. Okay, this stuff I got to take out. Take upstairs, okay? But yeah. Somebody got somebody gave this to me, y'all. Somebody shipped this to me with this and a bag that says "Make her a pretty thing." And I appreciate you so much if you're watching. Thank you again. I tried to drop you for. Forgot her name. I'm sorry, but she got this for me. I love gifts, y'all. I love gifts. I just made my day when I got this in the mail, and I didn't even know she was giving it to me. I don't even know who she is, but I know she followed me and she loves me. She gave me this and a pretty little makeup bag. Make her a pretty things, and I appreciate it. So my ironing board right here. This right here is my packaging um station right here. Um, these are my new cards. I just got Amazon. My thank you cards. I put in my stuff for my, um, customers. Okay. And this, this is a mess, but I got my bag and stuff I used when I was in my boutique. This is the instructions for the patches that I give my clients. This is my fragile label. Um, bags I put my t-shirts and stuff in or whatever I put in. More bags for my t-shirts. So this is all stuff like bags and stuff. Down here is more bags and my shipping labels is down here too. Okay, little people that I use these from Amazon. They they um stickers. You put in your printer and you print them out. Here's my um 
polymelons down here. I got different sizes, the small ones right here, the medium and large. Okay, here's all my heat presses that I got from <laughs> Cricut. I got this one right here, the small little iron. I got this one, this one. I missed one. What was the other one? Oh, my daughter got it. I let her have it. The smaller one, because I bought this one, so I gave her the smaller one because she do a, she do some Cricut. She just, I got her a Cricut machine for her birthday. Was it her birthday? Or what? I got it for Christmas. I got all kind of gloves and stuff. I got my heat gun down here. And these are plaques I was telling y'all I make. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting my dirty flow. These are plaques I make. You step up late on these. They are so nice. Of course, my battery about to go dead, so I gotta go. I stepped made on these days are so nice, y'all. Um, Condi.com got those. Okay, here's my mug, my tumbler I'm doing right now. Of course, here's my two heat presses. This one's a 15 by 15. And I got stuff all on my sticker. This is what I work. I work over here. This is a slide drawer. It slides. It's the 16 by 24. Here's my boutique, Charming Gale. I got sticky notes on everything to tell me how to heat press on stuff, my little notes. This is stuff that this is my table that I use <laughs> to put my stuff up, like take pictures of. I use this kind of fabric I got, the little fur fabric. If you can see, I got everything on here. Um, this is the fur fabric. I got everything on here. Here's my little mannequin. But I was using all this stuff. I was doing my appliques and stuff. I've been doing a lot of stuff in my, my boutique that's coming up. So I've been using this stuff. So I it's just thrown up here so I can be able to pick out which ones I want. Here's my um Wine cooler, my convention oven, my sewing machines, and my embroidery machines. These, are all, these both are embroidery machines. This is a sewing machine slash embroidery machine. All my vinyl, I got everything matched, matched uh, marked up with um, re erasable marker, vinyl, scraps, fabric, plain fabric, uh, pattern fabric down here. I got a uh, felt down here. I got African uh, fabric right here. Um, more pattern fabric to, for the, what I'm gonna do for my fabric earrings. I got all the stuff on my sewing machine stuff down here. All kinds of stuff I need for my sewing machine. Flat fabric for blankets right here. Sewing machine. My big boy going over here in this corner. Thread, 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 thread. My TV. I watch YouTube on. My printer's back there. I got more fabric right here. I got uh, stretchy and satin. No, no, what's in here? I think this is the cartoon characters and sports fabric. I got all my stabilizer right here. And this one, I got my bunnies I got to do for my daycare kids. My big machine, my heat press that print out 22 inches wide. Um, all my jewelry, I make charms, Pandora bracelets, style bracelets. I do beads. All my charms and everything is here. My bangles, everything is here on this shelf. Everything is situated, sort, sorted around. <laughs> More that stuff I've been working on right here. All this is my jewelry stuff over here. More jewelry stuff over here too. I got, I do sublimation earrings, sublimated earrings. I do all this stuff. Ain't these the bomb, y'all? This is bomb. Something made on these. Something made on these Afro girls. So this is the, the packaging I use for my jewelry and my um my what's the name my um what's it called my patches that I do sublimation. But this is all jewelry related stuff. Look at these. I haven't got the footballs. I'm gonna show tell you who um sent me this stuff. She sent me some of this stuff for free. She was so nice. I forgot her name. Crafty. Some oh here I'm gonna show you right now who she is. So y'all wanna get some? She on Instagram. I mean she on Etsy. And her name is One Crafty Chick. Right there. Look at my address, y'all. One Crafty Chick 19. And it's her Etsy page right there. She's the bomb. She got she sent me a lot of stuff for free. So shout out to her for sending me some free. So I'm gonna shout her out. She gave me a whole bag of free stuff, y'all. Sublimation. Sublimation sublimation. More stuff, more beads, more charms, more everything. Okay, over here, my phone about to go out there. But yeah, here's my Cricut Air 2. Cricut Maker, Cameo. Vinyl, this is all HTV. This is the plain HTV. This is all glitter HTV. Uh, this is cardstock paper, my mats, and cardstock paper. Okay, sublimation paper. This is my, my uh, cinch. I got to write it down so I remember what it is. <laughs> cinch, I make notebooks, journals, uh, planners, all for my cinch. And I got them on notebook for sale. I got them on my Etsy page for sale. Vinyl, see I wrote stuff down. Vinyl, special vinyl, cinch stuff, cinch stuff, tank tops. I don't know why it's way over there. But then I got embroidery leather, special HTV, special paper, special paper, vinyl. Everything is marked, y'all. All my glues, my Mod Podge is right here. Scraps for my vinyl and stuff. I got a whole back box full of stuff that I was that I sublimated on. That I didn't, I mean that I sublimated, but I didn't use yet. I have um beads. I do bling bling cups. All these beads in here. I got tape and glue in here. I got punch out things, scissors and stuff in here. I know I'm going fast, y'all. I'm going fast. Yes. I got um tool right here. 
I got ribbon right here. Oh my God, girl. Yes, I, 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 I got a lot of stuff. This stuff right here, I ain't unpacked yet. This is stuff from Joanne Fabric, which I live right around the corner, and I'm addicted to them because they're right around the corner. I got to move. All my glitters, I do glitter stuff too with the um, crystal lac, and I put glitter on my bling bling glasses. All this is glitter, a whole jar full of glitter. And this is my little stuff that I'm using for my, my reefs and stuff, flowers and stuff. More vinyl. This stuff I got to do, uh, got to do a um, video on. She sent to me this, all this stuff for free. She sent it to me so I can review it for her. It's called, it's called Sub Fabric. Okay, you can sub on this instead of using vinyl. Instead of using um, heat press, what is it? HTV, you can use this. Check her out. Is um, is it Great Crafting? I got to do all. She gave me all this stuff for free. Shout out to her. What's the name of this company. This water slide paper. She gave me all this stuff to show. So I got to do this video, y'all, because she been wanting, she been calling me, asking, like, when are you going to do it? I'm sorry. I'm getting it. Um, so I got all this stuff I got to do for um, people that send me this stuff. So if you want to send me some stuff to do videos on, send it to me, and I get right to you. Stuff that I will be doing. <sighs> okay. Hats that I embroider on, and I put vinyl on. All my t-shirts, small, medium, extra large, 2X, going on, going on. I got all this stuff. I got all my mesh up here. Tumblr from Walmart. You can sublimate on. I also do the Uno games, the Spade games, the, the sex Uno games, the naughty games. I do all that. All my masks that I have for women, men, kids, sublimation masks. I also sell these on my Etsy, on my Etsy page. I got cricket shirts, sublimation shirts, extra large 3X shirts. I got all that kind of stuff, y'all. That's enough, okay? That's enough, I guess. All my glasses, some of the bling bling that I've done. I try to keep it out so I can know what I did and put it on my Etsy page. Blank stuff, all Dollar Tree blanks. Okay, more stuff down here that I gotta put it together. Sort out some stuff down here. Games, I also do these boxes. The um, the um, different. I got stiller glass, the um, the gla wine glass, and the shot glass. I do those on my site too. Check my site. I do the little gift basket. And this stuff right here, I gotta I gotta organize. Okay, kids stuff, sub shirts, it's more stuff. I got more stuff in here, but I'm not going there. It's my laundry room, but I got a lot of stuff in here too that I have. I love my sublimation stuff in here. I got glasses up the wall, y'all. Stuff up the wall. I use these to put vinyl on. Okay. Um, I got this stuff right here. I used to make a lot of cards and stuff. It's a mess. I got all kind of uh, uh, tape. All this stuff is for cards, okay? I got my um <laughs> I got my uh button maker, my buttons, buttons, and more buttons. Okay. My kids' clothes that I'm doing now. Kids' clothes right here. What's this down here? This is my little my thing I got for, I got on Amazon. Towels, I embroidered on towels and stuff like that. Shot glasses. This all the stuff that I use for this thing right here. The big shot. All this stuff goes with the big shot. So everything is organized. And here's my the glitter notebooks I got left. I got them left that I'm trying to save for the for, <laughs> but I got them left because I don't have no more coming into Toledo. These are all beads. Things I put on my wine glasses. And that's it, y'all. <sighs> There's a lot. My phone about to go there. So let me um do a 360. Everything is in its right place, but it's just a lot. So questions, questions, questions. Why I go ahead and take this tape off of this tumbler that's sitting over here, I'm turning myself over. What y'all think about all that stuff I got? <laughs> Girl, I haven't been on here in ages. So good to see. They're supposed to be shopping for lunch. I just saw you on live. Hey, I have an ouch turned off. Yeah. Uh, you have a pancake eating ice cream. Let's see, I'm two hours away from Chicago. Wine cooler, see how I know. I need a wine cooler. I don't use that wine cooler. I don't know. I got it. It's just holding up my oven. Because I really don't. I put everything in my dang on refrigerator. And it's, um, and I don't want to keep, I don't want to plug it up because I don't want to mess up, I mean, blow a fuse. So I got all these doggone machines down here. So I don't use one. I got the wine cooler because it's my house. When my house, I got this condo. I had this whole basement fixed up as a like a um chilling spot with the TV and furniture and stuff and my wine cooler and everything for company. I'm like, I don't want to have that much company. Let me turn it into my she shed. My she shed. And that's what I did. So I really don't even use the wine cooler. It's just down here to be cute. Okay, so here's this cup. It's cool. Really cool. So let's hope it come out right. I'm gonna be pissed. What is it? Sometimes you be having, it still don't work. Even though you did all that stuff I did, it still, sometimes it don't work. Which would be a headache. But I pray that it works, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all want to see me take it off, don't y'all? I thought I was.
Let's reveal what's under this tape. Y'all love wine. That's all I drink is wine. I'm gonna have a lot of sipping, sipping, um, sipping. Ooh, honey. Ooh, honey. Oh, honey, she gonna love it again. Like I said, this, this is my customer. She bought one of these last week. And I said, I'll hook you up. I'm gonna get you a nice design. She said, okay, just send me something. I said this to her. She's like, I want another one just like this. Because she got it for her best friend. Now she wants this one for herself. <laughs> so, she also, she bought another one. And it's not sticky at all. I ain't got to worry about wiping it down with alcohol. It's so cute, y'all. So all that tape, it happens. I'm telling you, if you don't use all that tape, believe me when I tell you. You're gonna have shadows. You're gonna have kind of all kind of stuff going on with the cook. I put this in a convection oven, y'all. Look how beautiful it is. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Let me show y'all in a minute. But you can feel it a little bit. So I'm going to have to get some alcohol wipe it off. I have three bedrooms. Two are craft rooms. Yes. Like I said, I got this basement down here. But I have my I was in my back, my extra bedroom upstairs. But I had, it was too small for me. So I came down here, and now I'm putting stuff up in my extra bedroom, which I did that today because I had a lot of stuff in my middle of my floor. If y'all was here on my live yesterday, it was a mess down here. So I took some stuff up there, and I'm going to organize everything up there. Upstairs is going to be where I'm going to have my, my tumblers and stuff that I'm doing uh, um, crystal lac with. So up there is going to be my tumblers. Also, I'm going to do all my glitter and stuff up there, all my beading up there. It's a, it's a nice big window up there. I can use that window and just look at the window and do beads and tumblers. My little turn it, my little turners, my tumblers going to go up there because they was right here. But now I'm going to have my, um, my what's name over there? My big boy. Uh, what's the name? Look at that, y'all. So, yep, upstairs is going to be where I'm going to have, then I'm going to have all my stuff, like when I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, pop-ups this summer. So, everything going to be upstairs, and I'm going to take it up to the pop-up, all in the containers, ready to go. I also have a wagon so I can pull my stuff when I want pop-ups and stuff. I'll put everything in the wagon. I'm going to put it on the little cart I have. I'm going to worry about carrying everything, but everything going to be all organized and ready ready to go. So, they didn't, they didn't do too bad. It really, it, it really did better than I thought it would as far as, you know, evening up, connecting the paper together. What y'all think, y'all? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let me see if you like it. Let me get some hearts and some thumbs up. I mean, some hearts. Yes, this will save. You will be able to see it from the beginning. And also, I will put all the links below of everything, all my Amazon links that I get everything from, from sublimation, from cricket stuff. All the links will be up below the video. So you can go to Amazon and pick with a purchase, whatever you need. Wherever all this stuff came from, I'll put a link up below about this, where I get these tumblers from. Ask for Chloe. She'll give you a discount. i also give you a link of um, where you can get discounted sublimation blanks. Use that link. You'll get, this discount, you'll get discount. Also got a link I give you that will help you, help you get a discount on your clip arts for PNGs and stuff for Cricut. I got a link for that, too. It'll all be below this video as soon as I close out. Give me five minutes to put it on there, and it'll be there for you. Come back and check out the links. Click on the links and get you what you want. And you get all the, and enjoy all the discounts. Okay? I'm going to keep on turning. Ain't that cute? Ain't that cute? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So this is what we did tonight. We did a tumbler in the convection oven. But tomorrow, come back, come back, come back. I will be here, like I said, between 7 and 8 o'clock, live again. And we're going to be working on doing a tumbler. With this baby right here, I just got it today. Came in the mail. I didn't want to do a live today. I want to get this out the way because this is for a customer. I got to ship this out. So tomorrow we're gonna to be doing this tomorrow between seven and eight Eastern Standard Time. I'm in Ohio, so I will put I will post it in my community. So subscribe to this channel so you can be alert. Hit that red bell so you can be alert when I get on live tomorrow at seven or eight o'clock. And it'll be in my community. It'll pop up on your thing if you are my, if you my friend if you're subscribed. It'll pop up saying Shine will be live. Coming up, I'll let y'all know. Probably, I'll give y'all like an hour. I'll tell y'all an hour, an hour before I start, okay? I'll show up and I'll say I'll be here in about an hour before. And I'm going to be doing a 20 ounce tumbler just like this. But I'm going to be doing this image. Okay, sublimation. And this one right here. And we're going to see how it turns out compared to this one we did today. And I won't have this one tomorrow to show y'all because I'm about to put it in the mail. But you will, you will be able to know. I might, do a I might do a mug too, okay? I might do a mug tomorrow, too, in this thing. So we're going to be doing this tomorrow. So it's time for me to go. You know what time it is in Toledo? It is 1.30 a.m., okay? I got, I'm going to bed, though. I ain't going to bed. Y'all know I don't sleep. I'm about to do some more stuff. I'm about to probably do probably some more embroidery because I love this to push the button and get it going so I can get some more samples ready for my, my boutique, my daughter's boutique. Look, look out for that. If you got any young kids in your life, it's going to be called A Ray of Sunshine on Etsy coming um, next month. So let's see. 
Got any other questions before I go out and get out of here? Do you no? You do not have to seal sublimation. You do not have to seal when you sublimate something. Okay, no sealing necessary. Okay. Uh, cute, cute, cute. Let's see. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the hearts, y'all. Thank you, thank you. Um, I don't see any more questions, so I guess it's time for me to go. Don't forget to subscribe. When I get to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a video on how I did that bag. I showed you a duffel bag. This thing right here, if y'all didn't see it. And I'm also going to do, be doing a giveaway. I'm going to also be doing a giveaway. Um, I don't know what I'm giving away yet. Oh, I'm going to give away um, $50 Amazon cards. I'll probably do two $50 Amazon cards when I hit 100 subscribers. And I like to give away. I got a lot of stuff that um, Condi.com sent me. So I can probably give, a, give away some of that Condi stuff too. Sublimation blanks. I'm going to give away some. Because I'll be using all that stuff. Some of the stuff I use, I don't. I, why is this just sitting here collecting dust when I can give it away? So how about that? I'm going to give some Amazon gift cards away and some Condi sublimation blanks when I hit that 100,000 subscribers, y'all. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So hit that. Subscribe to my channel so you can be here. So you can win some money. Amazon gift cards. And some blank sublimation blanks. <laughs> she said, stay on. We won't talk. Y'all be killing me. Y'all be killing me. The, the, same, the same thing last night. Talking about, just stay on. Just stay on. <laughs> She's talking about, we won't talk. I can't hear y'all feel talk anyway. <laughs> I don't want to stay on. My phone about to go dead. Y'all don't want to go to Y'all don't want to go to bed. <laughs> Man, we was on live last night forever. Y'all was like, don't leave. Don't leave. I was like, okay, I won't. I won't. Sip my sip. Being all, I'll be in all goofy and stuff, drinking my little, my little wine and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get off. Cause I want to do some stuff, and I don't like to be walking away from the camera. So I don't like doing that. I don't like walking away back and forth to the camera. I like to be in y'all face, talking to y'all, showing y'all stuff. Going on my um, about to go on my embroidery machine and um, it's hard to do. On my embroidery machine, it's so shiny and so nice and so sleek. I love it. My name of my group is called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. My daughter just, um, she just basically approved a lot of pro, pro We had over a thousand people join last week because I had so many people waiting to get in, but I've been so busy. I wasn't able to look through everything, but so you will not be able to join unless she answer all the questions, answer all the questions, and we can join you in to the group, Brown Girls Craft for Cricket, but you, it don't matter what skin tone you, I mean, what, um, um, everybody's welcome. Everybody welcome. Just because I call it Brown Girls Craft for Cricket, it don't matter. You can be whatever, uh, you can, all, everyone's welcome and you can also have, you don't have to have a cricket. You can have, a sub, you can have any kind of cutting machine. I just named it Brown Girls Craft Cricket because it was cute. So everybody is welcome. Everybody is welcome. Even if you don't have a cricket, you're welcome. We do way more stuff than cricket stuff. Okay, we do all kinds of stuff. Okay, so go ahead and you can go ahead and subscribe to, I mean, go ahead and um, join my group. I will approve you if you answer all the questions. Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. Yep, C-R-C-U-T. C-R-I-C-U-T. Come on, she can work too. That's why, what if you're not a girl? You can still, I'm sorry, that's what I say. It's for everybody. Everybody's welcome. We have men in the group too. It's just a name that I thought of, so sorry. I mean, we have men in the group. We do have men in the group. So I just made up a group. I was just trying to find a name, okay? And that's what I thought of. So, yeah. Everyone, everyone is welcome. As long as you're not a scammer, you can come. And as long as you're not disrespectful, you can come. We respect or you're going to get deleted. We have a lot of fun. We have so many creative women up in that group. Oh, my gosh. We be doing some things up in there. Having some fun, giving away, doing giveaways. We do a lot of stuff in there. Yes, there are guys in the group. Yes. I say brown. Like I said, that was just a name I thought of, okay? But everybody is welcome. It's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. But men in every race is welcome with open arms. Come and craft with us. Girl, plug your phone in. <laughs> no! She said stay on live. No! No! No, I mean, no, no. <laughs> I got 182 people watching, 152 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, she said she loved the group. Thank you, Andrea. The Walmart tumblers again. Y'all want to see the Y'all get on my nerves. Look, my phone about to go dead. I ain't going to better put this video on. You better leave me alone because I ain't got my chargers upstairs. The Walmart tumblers right here. They come back and see. They always come out in spring and summer. So if y'all got them out now, they should be coming in. These are from last year. They glitter. You can sub on anything glitter, okay? But the darker it gets, the harder it's going to be. So you might want to do black on this, okay? You're going to do black letters on this. 
black um but if you have this silver kind you can put anything on here you can see really good on these because it's silver but when you sublimate you got to be sublimate on glitter or polyester okay that's why people say when you want to sublimate on black shirts you got to use glitter vine glitter htv i got a video on how to sublimate on dark um dark garments okay because you're not supposed to you only supposed to sublimate on polyester white and light colors but i have a video on show you how to um sublimate on black okay with htv vinyl okay so check out my videos on you i'm telling y'all i got everything on my channel check me out what else y'all want to see y'all about to get on my nerves <laughs> y'all make me sick so those are the tumblers i got these from last year i'm I stuck up on we see stuff like this stuck up on because this stuff is seasonal it's seasonal okay put these in the confection oven and they be so cute y'all you can put names on here or you can put images on here if they're light color <laughs> This light color will show everything, but this right here is kind of dark, so you might not be able to see the, all the images on this one. But you can find some black, something like, either like black, like this, like this. If you sublimate this on there, it'll come out perfect because it's dark. But this, like I said, look at my little, y'all can see those too. These are my website too. My blend glasses. I also got these too. Different, um, different, um, teams, Steelers, Cowboys, whatever. I can make these up for you too, for your teams. Just ask for it and they can be personalized for every, whatever you want. Okay. Oh, I'm stepping over boxes and stuff. Okay, y'all. For real. Y'all ain't gonna have me on this live. I gotta do some work. I ain't did nothing all day today. I've been chilling all day and I need to do some work. And I feel bad when I don't get nothing done. So I'm about to do some um I'm about to do some more. Some more um samples for my shop. Oh, I got y'all turned the wrong way. I'm about to do some more samples for my samples for my shop and no, I don't wanna be on live because it's hard to try to entertain y'all and do work at the same time. Okay, I'm sorry. I like to entertain. I don't like to just have y'all watching me. I like to talk to y'all. It's hard for me to do that. And I've been on here since, uh, I've been on here for a couple hours now, y'all. So I have to go. I really do. I'm sorry. I don't want to leave you, but I have to go. So I will be back, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay? So let me go get my wrist. So I'll be ready for y'all tomorrow. Come tune in tomorrow around 7 or 8. I'm going to put it in my community. I want this phone to go dead because I want to make sure it's saved to YouTube. We want to make sure it's saved. So if y'all haven't seen the beginning, go to the beginning of this video after I save it. Bye. Don't tell me I'm, I can't stop you. You can't stop me now.